Well, well, well. Welcome, dear friends, to what is the very last High Rollers Erois episode. <laughs> Mixed emotions. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and I am joined, as always, by my dear friends. We have Rhiannon, Hello. Trot, and Kim. Hello. And we have Tom and Katie. And yeah, this is the last one of the Erois campaign. Whatever happens oh. today, this is the final one because we got a studio to move and we got a lot of other people. We got a bebe to take care of. Collectively. Today. It's yeah, all of us. Yeah. Now. This yeah, we is share it. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be some delightful things. I believe we've got a lovely little bit of fan art tribute that we'll be playing during the we, break. It's huge. It's um, something a little different. Little so different. Uh, I've done a compilation in chronological order of the High Roller show as best I could with your fan art Aww. over the whole five Amazing. years. That's so awesome. it kind of tells the story a little bit. And also, big thanks to Matt C for putting together a music video with a huge amount of um, you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's going to be played at the end of the stream. Amazing. As, as like a little send off. So thank you very much for making that for us and everyone that was involved with that as well. Amazing. Many thanks. To add to that, I have a gift. What? Uh, uh? Okay. Well, it's not from me. He's trying to soften us up. Uh, this was sent to me uh, by our dear friends Fail, but also there are Aww. there is art from Crispy, uh, so for, for art from Pumpcan and Peggles. You can't and do this to us before we start. That was paid for by Crispy. Oh my oh, God. Come on, let's go. Oh. So I'm this? gonna pass these around. So these oh, wow. are individual prints. These are there's oh, Pumpcan, wow. and Pumpcan, Fail. Pumpcan Fail and Peggles. Oh. They took Holy some shit! Each. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, God. <laughs> pass around. You guys take your individual ones, and then there is a Siaska. Oh, there is a Siaska. Oh, oh my god! god. So oh. Fail, I believe, Fail did the art of the two elves because obviously, uh, Fail did the <gasps> arts, um, and then Pumpkin did uh, Century and Quill, oh, and then okay, Peggles oh. did uh, Siaska oh, and Nova. God. Um, they're all absolutely beautiful. These are some of our, you know, artists oh. that have been with us the whole time. Oh my god! Oh, but then, Pumpkin, oh yeah. god. Fail, this was entirely on fail, sent me Mark your this eyes. print. Uh, oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. Thalia. That's yeah. awesome. It has, Tornado. It has to tons of NPCs. Oh, it shit. even has Bim. Yeah. <laughs> Yes! Justice! Bim made it! Yeah, oh, so I'm gonna pass that around for you guys wow. to look at. Thank, Thank you um, so much, everyone. But that is, oh, I've been. Uh, there was oh, a chance that, that those so weren't gonna arrive at mine in time, but they did arrive. Oh, cool. <laughs> I've got your oh. hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hand's in my one, going into the star. And there. Like a it's a dragon. Um, and you've got that Elder Quill as well. It's Elder Quill. Elder Quill as well. That is so cool. Let me see Lucius and So thank you all very much. Obviously, we love all of our fan artists, but these. thank you very much for these specific gifts. Like I said, I think oh, the smaller no prints were all commissioned by Crispy. Um, smells nice. And then oh. Fail did the big poster. These are incredible. Thank you so much, everyone. That's so, so beautiful. So oh. gorgeous. And yes, there, there's lots of fan art lots in the video uh, that's well. across the whole five years. So yeah. And also, uh, if you haven't watched it as well, last week we did the uh, we did the episode. Uh, there was a big, more recent fan art video as well. So go and check that out. That featured a ton yes. of stuff, including some cosplay from Eve um, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, just as a quick mention as well, uh, it is likely that today's stream is going to be longer than normal. So settle in. Uh, we don't know exactly how much longer. It depends on things like your. You know, we're going to be reading donations. So if a load of you donate, we will be reading those for a while. Yeah. But also, if the stream, if the session needs to go a bit longer to wrap up what is going to happen in the story, then so be it. We can't really tell you exactly when that's going to be, but prepare yourselves for a bit of a longer one. Mm. Oh. And then lastly, I'm going to throw it over to my main man, oh. Tommy H. Because oh, he's got, got something he wants to I've tell you about. I've got little thing as well. Sorry, I just saw a tornado. Um, hey, cool. today Tor is the final episode of Rose, but also it's five years Five years. Of a row, oh, really? as, of as of yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was the five year anniversary of High Rollers. There's been many changes over the five years of a row. Uh, like, uh, Markisms have evolved. <laughs> And Re has changed her hair 600, and I counted 638 times. Wow. There's only 191 episodes. I know. Nice. So it's in, it's incredible. We should change some halfway through. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, if all of them. That's um, a good stance, man. But including that. We began this adventure in the York studio. 
um, and we were then forced offline until we were online, <laughs> sorry, forced us to play online yeah. until we got this studio. And all of these changes and evolutions were made possible thanks to all of our supporters mm, uh, yes. across yes. all our various platforms, Patreon, you YouTube members, Twitch subscriptions, Twitch, donations, place. merch like purchases, time. so many ways so many. Uh, and so many people supporting us time. over the years and it's been wonderful and incredible. Um, actually, the only thing that hasn't changed over the five years is uh, the uh, typo in the intro. Yeah. <laughs> that changed. That's not a typo. That's not a typo. That's, that's, that's text. history. Yeah. Ancient Thanks. text. Back that, in the day, it used to be called Aorus. No, it's just that's how you spelt it. And, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, in like yeah. ancient Greek, language like, you know, evolved. the language, language evolves, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and, uh, and this support is allowing us to improve the stream in... Uh, immeasurable ways, uh, so much so that we are getting a brand new studio very soon, as I'm sure you've heard of. Um, that is going to be an improvement, and we Once intend... again, forced, in a way. That was forced. Yeah. <laughs> that was forced. Yeah, but, yeah. but um, building's getting shut down. Nice. <laughs> Silver lining. Silver lining, But, yeah. yeah, it's all because of the supporters that we're able to make this yes. show as good as, it, as, as we want it to be. Um, so... Thank you very much to all of our supporters over the years. Um, and uh, please continue to support us in the lead up to the brand new campaign, because uh, there'll be some secret stuff on, on Patreon and YouTube members, probably. A new um, move. Yeah, they're, we got all the gonna, moves done. We're stuff. gonna document yeah. the move yeah. and all these different things. I think almost uh, certainly there will be a lot more behind the scenes stuff building up to Althea, which is our new campaign setting, um, and the subsequent stories that come about in that world, building up the characters, maybe going into a little bit more detail about the world. Yeah, that I'm not really let go of that stuff. Huh? Yeah, I'm not really let go. Well, you need to be I've got because... a beautiful picture of Lucius here. Like, I'm sure you it. do. Yeah, this is uh, going on my wall, like, this is, yeah, this is, We yeah. should frame the big like, one for an oh, that, I, I've already yeah. promised that that is going in the new studio. I want to yes, yeah, stop holding sure. it. I um, to put it on the thing behind you. Kim, I believe you had something you wanted to mention So, yeah, just finally, before we go into this, as Tom mentioned briefly, it's our fifth birthday of... A Rois. Oh, um, and so oh, I okay. bought us a little. Oh, <laughs> that was close. I got a little birthday cake. Five on you. You can't eat it now. Birthday. To us. Yes. Um, awesome so, yeah, that's for us for later. We'll when we're crying, we'll, we'll sob into it. I'm going to put it in the fridge yeah. now. Yeah. And whilst Kim does put it in the fridge, it is now time, dear friends, oh. for the last. Dun Duns. Oh, oh man. The last oh, man. episode of High Rollers Erois. Hello, and welcome to the final episode of High Rollers Erois. Last time, beneath a red star, in a realm of hidden horror and mind-warping reality, our champions face one final enemy, Hadar, one of the first divine beings, corrupted after consuming the godly essences of his kin, now an agent of entropy and death that believes that mortal kind will become a threat to the very fabric of existence and violently break the universe. The champions have journeyed into the far realm to face him. The goddesses Siaska and Valor have conjured a protective shield, warding the champions and the astral emperor Kallus Valkyrian from the dangerous energy of this terrible place. Together, they prevent Hadar from using his control of the plane to tear the minds of the heroes apart. But even together, these two cannot stand forever. The heroes have rained down powerful blows against the entropic god, but seemingly none have caused actual harm to Hadar. However, 
Their repeated strikes and blows have caused silver, slivers of strange silvery light to bleed from the red star, and the powerful magics have caused ghostly figures to emerge from his body. However, it seems that until now, Hadar has been toying with them. And that, my friends, is where we begin. Here and now. Okay. The champions must find a way to overcome Hadar, or it will be the end of everything they know. To re-establish the scene, you stand in a void, not completely bereft of color or shape. Rocky platforms, teeth and bone protruding from them at odd angles, broken like fragments, hover and scattered about around a large central platform. Above you, in the air, the sky is red and black and gray, streaked like a swirling mist, and a single red pinprick of light hovers above it all. Hadar, a huge, monstrous humanoid figure, limbs long, overly stretched, made of sinuous fibers and muscle. His head has no eyes or nose, but one enormous mouth that seems to stretch up. And behind it, you can see but an empty blackness. Within his chest, another second mouth with fanged maw, complete with that same void lurking behind the teeth. In the battle so far, you've all begun to feel this growing pressure as Hadar's attacks and magic seem to surround you with despair, inevitability, the weight of the burden of the pressures put upon you. But those of you who have seen these embers of silver and have touched them, Ayla and Sentry, felt that in doing so, connecting with this strange power, not only do you feel stronger and more powerful, if only for a brief moment, it cleanses away that pressure building upon you. Two ghostly figures, one a humanoid figure with almost like antlers, like a dressed in a hunter's raiment, cowering before this figure. The other, a gnomish-like figure, an older woman, but strange proportions, childlike almost, with their eyes and face. They seem to be afraid of the entropic god, but pulled free from its body somehow. We begin at the top of a brand new round. Before your turns can take place, a number of things begin to happen. Oh, God. <laughs> the first is Hadar kind of calling out to you all. You do not understand. You race towards a violent, dest destructive end. You go beyond, look at yourselves. A year ago, you could not even comprehend the powers you now wield. If you continue down this path, you will shatter everything. No, I must end this now. And with his hands, you watch as pieces of this realm begin to break away. Tom, I'm going to need your help. Oh. We clear this bridge and these rocky platforms away. From the bridges are gone. Uh, leaving just these crumbling remnants. That was our way out. We were never making our way out. <laughs> uh, and the life. two kind of more jagged, rocky platforms as well. You can remove those. Yes, please. Nothing that no one is under, at least. <clears throat> standing on either. Oh, and then this bit here as well. Thank you. The second is that as he does this, as Hadar speaks, you begin to see that red and black and grey sky crackling with energy. As for a raid action, Hadar begins to draw this power down, and you can begin to see this immense attack beginning to build. Oh. That will be the raid action for this time. <laughs> Across the whole area. For now, it seems to just be building, like Hadar is calling it to him. Not quite clear where it's going to strike, but okay. a clear indicator that power is being conjured. I will also say one last thing. Up until now, you are all seasoned enough adventurers and heroes. You have 
you immediately realize that until this point, Hadar has been toying with you. Damage, lethality, and risk at this point increases. With that, Ayla, you are the first to act. Why is it me? <laughs> um, okay, I think what I'm going to do is I still have fly for this turn, till the end of this turn. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because I heard Siaska say to Lucius, bring the spirit to me, mm -hmm. I'm going to land beside the spirit that's near Lucius and just say to it, please, please come with me. I can, I can take you to Siaska. Siaska the goddess. You see in the fear on this spirit, perhaps the remnant of a god long, long ago, a look of confusion and fear. I would like Ayla to make a persuasion check. Uh, given the nature of your words, this is a persuasion check. Um, I don't have any bonus. No. Fortunately, with that, you can see that this figure wants to leave. Like there is a there is a belief. Almost there is a moment where it goes to reach out towards you, uh, but for whatever reason is hesitant or is concerned as you plead with it to come with you, almost shying away from your hand as you reach out towards it. Can I, in that case, can? Continue my movement and go into go towards Siaska and Vala, and I kind of want to sit, stand near them. You can actually get just inside the dome. Um, and can I hold an action to protect Siaska? You don't actually need to hold an action to protect either of them. As long as you are close oh, okay. by, if a raid action were to happen, you will gain the ability to intercept it. So you don't have to hold your action. So if there's anything else you would like to do, you are absolutely allowed to do so. Uh, I will make it clear, if you end your turn in the dome, there is a slight draining effect on you. Oh, yeah. But you uh, are protected from harm as long as you are in it. Um, how long is the dome up for? Yeah, like, until the end. The, it is until the end of, I believe, Lucius called it, so it will be at the start of Lucius's turn. Cool. Can you remind us of the initiative order? Ayla? Yeah, absolutely. So it's currently Ayla, Hadar is next, uh, then it will be uh, Nova and Lucius. And uh, then it is Callus, Sentry, uh, and then Quill. And in between those, there are raid actions and things like that. I'm not going to tell you exactly where those are. Okay. In that case, I will <laughs> step just outside of the dome sure. then. Okay. And then I won't need to worry about exhaustion. And um, if I don't need to ready an action, I will just... So I'd say if you're not necessarily close to them, what you could do is ready an action to move closer to that, them I'll if do something that. needs I'll to. I'll do that, essentially, okay. because I see him summoning this, and mm -hmm. that's kind of like, with me being at the very top of the round and not knowing what things are, mm -hmm. Yep. And I have the hit points, so yep. I kind of want to try and be ready to. So Absolutely. that'll be that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, I will say as well, who currently has the Callus uh, character sheet? Nova. I would say Callus would, if you would like his intentions, seeing his power, he would like to move as close to Siaska and Valor at the end, uh, be as close to them as he can be. If he can make an attack in, in between, he will do, but I would like him to move towards them as close as possible I on his turn. I he's currently restrained, and I can't remember what. Uh, I believe he is, yes, yeah. uh, he is, yeah. I believe that currently... He does have a uh, small boy next to him as well. I believe There's Sentry... A small boy next yes. to him, yeah. Sentry and Lucius and Callus were all restrained at the end of the last turn. Oh, it was the smoke on the ground. Yes, that was it. which is, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, in that case, uh, Ayla, if you are done, then Hadar will take their turn. You see them channeling this power, calling it down. But then their hands come in, the power still gathering, surging into them. It's raid action not requiring concentration or anything like that. And just will raise their hand and point up above you all on that central platform. It is time I showed you just how pointless this all is. How inevitable your doom is. And almost seems to 
touch a point in space in the darkness above you all. And he is casting a spell. Now, this is not a spell you know. Those of you who are spellcasters can make an arcana check to determine its effects. This is also right next to me, so... <laughs> uh, arcana? This is a free action. 14. Unfortunately, this is beyond you. 24. I think Bless you. you. Katie's allergic to good rolls because I got 24. Are you okay? I'm allergic to life. <laughs> Another one. Good thing we got tissues here. All right, so 24 and 29. All right, Lucius, whatever it is, maybe it's being distracted by the moment, maybe it's the pain throughout your body, whatever it is. Probably you're not focused on this god spirit in front of me. Sure. Quill and Nova, you've experienced some of Hadar's magic and things before. And you are able, though you do not know the exact spell yourselves, you are able to gather that this is a ninth level spell <laughs> called Ravenous Void. I, I, Tom doesn't know this one. It's uh, unlikely that you will. So I can now search for it, right? Uh, you could, yes, but I'm going to... Uh, you don't need to do it's that. It's going to happen anyway, it's right? It's going to happen anyway. Oh, no. Appearing a hundred sort of... Maybe sort of 80 feet up above the central platform but easily within 100 feet of all of you. A singularity. A point in space breaks in on itself and becomes a black hole. Uh, it's not ideal. It not okay. I should counter spell it. You may certainly so, attempt to. Okay, okay. I'd say, Lucius, you are aware of the spell, you don't know the exact nature of it. But it looks really bad. I mean, I mean yes, yeah. If you're aware of it being in ninth level, I'm, well, I don't because I did the account. Oh, yeah, do. so I, I, I know exactly what it is, uh, but I mean, I can't really. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave this to you guys how you um, want to proceed. But I will need to, if you are spending your reaction to do anything, it must be now. So where where is it? Sorry, it's going to be appearing in the sky above All. you, and it is everyone. Yeah, I mean, All. <laughs> it is at the so it appears as just a twenty foot radius sphere, like a black hole, 20 feet radius, but you can see the rocks on the ground on yeah. all of these platforms begin to pick up and Don't begin pulling up. Counter spell, ninth level. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. You're going to counter spell it at ninth level. In that case, Hadar is going to use their legendary action, consume magic. Oh, oh shit! Oh god! Hang on. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit. Uh, well, okay. Uh. That's so, the sitch. As let me tell you, let me describe it. So Lucius, you see him, and Hadar doesn't cast spells in the way a mortal does. He is willing this magic, but you can still see those threads, those strands that make up the nature of a spell, and you send your chromatic magic up to try and disrupt it. But Hadar is almost waiting for this, and just opens that mouth wide and begins to try. And suck in and draw in the magic of the counter spell. The way this works is both you and Hadar roll 1d20 plus your spell casting ability modifier. If Hadar wins the roll, the counter spell is consumed. If you win, then the counter spell will trigger normally. Not this again. <laughs> yeah. You want this, baby boy? Yeah. Plus five. I believe. Plus five, okay. Have you got any, like... I mean, no bacon, no uh, nothing from you. Well, do I? No. I, do I would need to know it now. I know. Do I? I've got. A, I've got a seven, so I could still. Oh. Such a mid roll. He's probably gonna have. I. Just, I won't. I, yeah. I won't. Right. Just go. In that case, sure. raw rolling. Pure fate. Oh. Twenty-one. I rolled a nineteen. <gasps> Twenty-six. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's a. Uh, but I did count the big black hole, right? No, he's, he's eaten it. He's that was, that was, that was that not, he's not eaten just that. Table. As he consumes the spell, you see that there is some form of empowerment uh, as he consumes it. You used a ninth level spell. That's important. Port portent. There's no way. You didn't know. No way of knowing. Know. That's what literally what portent is. <laughs> But you do see now, having consumed this magic, you're just, mm, yes, a powerful individual, but not enough. Now, Lucius, go to your end. And with that, you feel all of you, this force beginning to draw you up towards this 20-foot sphere of darkness. 
Uh, let me just check this spell because this is my first time using this spell as well. Oh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's when the oh. spell first appears. Okay, so for now, any un, 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 uh, unheld objects, you see rocks, you see maybe things that have dropped on the ground, minor things, you know, a, a blade or something that's fallen out of your thing, but rocks and broken pieces of teeth float up and are pulled into this sphere like a black hole. And you watch that as they get closer, they break and they dis- turn to dust and disintegrate. It's, it's, it's like a sphere of annihilation. There is certainly an element of that here in place. <laughs> at the start of your turns, you must make a strength saving throw. Oh, I'm oh, good at this. Oh. No, that was Hadar's first action. Mm-hmm. This, I'm going to remove this. We're going to remember that the black yeah. hole is up in space, but it's, it's pretty hard much. To see. Yeah. Hadar is then going to turn to Quilliam. Mm-hmm. Not Quilliam. And he's currently higher up and therefore closer to the black hole. His big mouth. That is an important thing to note. It is. Um, well, actually, maybe. <laughs> uh, I would say that right now the sphere is at least 80 feet above all of you, even those of the, you have the, slightly flown up slightly higher. It's a good sort of like, you know, 100 or maybe like 60 feet up. Okay. Um, Quill, he's just going to make a attack against you with his entropic claws. Yeah. Okay. That is a 31 to hit. That's uh, slightly out of my shield range, I think. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I am going to start rolling. Just a, little bit. Just, just a little bit out of shield range. I can shield up to a 20. So. That will be 22 points of slashing damage, please, Quill. Um, okay. No poison damage? Does he do uh, poison? No. I'm resistant to poison. Uh, how many Doom tokens do you currently have, Quill? Ooh. That is a very good question. Three, I believe. Okay, you gain an additional one. I have a little token for you. And therefore more damage, right? And therefore that will be... So you have you have three now? Yeah. Or four now? Uh, I, well, four now. Four now. That is an additional 4d6 because this is also some necrotic damage coming your way. Sounds like he's rolled really well on these D6. 43 necrotic damage. Mm. As the claws rake across you, that prevailing sense of despair bears down on you like a force now, crushing into you. Okay. That was 4d6 on top of the regular damage rate. You didn't somehow roll a 43 <laughs> with... No, that 46 <laughs> was on top of the 8d6 of necrotic oh, damage. Oh, good that god. Time. Okay, just 12d6. It just, yeah, okay. But that is Hadar's turn complete. My apologies, a bonus action. <laughs> uh, as a bonus action, okay. He, after he swipes at Quill with his other hand, he kind of gestures. And he's going to rearrange the Oh, man. Oh. Oh, not me in range. <laughs> so all the islands Just push. Shift uh, yeah, those islands away, please. How far are we talking? Uh, he pushes them about 20 feet away from the platform, increasing the distance to 40 feet from the central platform. <coughs> that is the end of Hadar's turn. <laughs> As the first raid action, you see that power is just continuing to coalesce and gather. Nova. So am I being affected by this even though I'm like way out now from where the the the, 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 the ravenous void? Yeah. You are still within a hundred feet of the sphere. hundred feet, yeah. okay. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please, Nova. Whereabouts, like, is that the limit of a hundred feet? I'll do, I'll do that, but like, yeah. Um, I would say that in this place, you are 40 feet from the central platform. It is about perfectly in the middle. You are looking at maybe you are at least another 20, maybe 30, 40 feet from being at the edge of this thing. Would would this count as 100 foot? Like this very tip no. top at the end here? You would still be within range. Or like is every here, platform? Like, is everything every every platform is within range. You would have to fly out beyond the platform. Cool. Uh, that is uh, seven minus two. That is a five. At the start of your turn, uh, you are pulled straight to the sphere's center, ending in an unoccupied space as close to the center as possible. A creature that enters the sphere for the first time or starts its turn there, so this will be the case for you, uh, takes some damage. Can I negate that with a teleport? Because I have. Can you teleport as a reaction. Um, this is the start of your turn, so you would enter yeah. it before you have a chance to do it. No. 
You would be, if you can teleport then on your turn, once yeah. this takes place, you'll be able to teleport away. When can we do player raid actions again? At the start of any of your turns. All right. Uh, we can create an arcane gate and we can create that dome. A shield, yeah, yeah. basically a shield to Valor's, yeah. A good. very short arcane A portal, gate. sorry. Yeah. Like yeah. it lasts a turn, doesn't it? Or it's a turn, yeah. It's like 34 a... <laughs> points of force damage, Nova, as you feel pieces of your skin, your armor beginning to break away as this black hole is disintegrating you. You are currently, whilst you are in the sphere in the air, you are restrained. I know you can't be restrained because you have a ring of free action. Um, and you can make a strength check against the spell save DC to end the restrained condition on yourself or another creature within reach. Um, but you are basically hovering. A, you are 100 feet up in the air in the center of this dark sphere, in the, in the center of this black hole, basically. And I'm guessing there's like nothing I can tether to or anything like that. Moments. Like, no. nothing at all. Okay. You are basically hovering. You are trapped in this this gravitational void. Oh boy! But that is at the start of your turn. You've taken the damage for entering it. Now you have your full turn. Uh, I'm just trying to double check. Uh, it's, it's a free action, isn't it? Um, don't know. I'm just trying to check, like, if there's a teleport range on me swapping with Tiangong. Okay. Um, yeah, certainly. I'll remind Lucius you are up on deck, and then we will have Callus act. Okay, oh, there's see. actually no limit to the range on it. It just says at the cost of 50, regardless of the distance between you two. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Could absolutely swap places. Okay, um, yeah. Can you Tiangong will technically enter the sphere space and will immediately take damage. Yeah. So that will destroy Tiangong. Can you remind me what the black goop that was next to So was? yeah, it actually appears. It's not quite goop. It appears like... Um, an amorphous cloud of dark red magic, and it is in the shape of a mouth. Um, and you saw it try to bite Quill. That was that was all you've seen it do so far. Yeah, so I'll probably take some damage from that, but I'd rather not be in the black hole and 30 foot of bonus action Misty Step's not going to get me too far. So I will free action... Um, yeah, you could drop 30 feet, but then you would fall 70 yeah, feet basically yeah. down. So oh. I'll free action swap with Tiangong. Okay. Tiangong is destroyed because as soon as it enters the black hole, mm -hmm. you watch as the spectre is vanquished. At the end of this, I'll do my reclaim potential from that, um, but I'll do okay. that for now. So that's a free action. Um, yeah, you see this more, by the way. Uh, as you kind of appear next to it, it does look like it is going to try and take a bite of you as yeah. well. And it does look like a, a th something you could strike, I will say this. It does look like look it can like be attacked. Exactly. Yeah. Or there is also Hadar himself. Yeah. Um, I would say those of you who passed that Arcana check, you do imagine that this Ravenous Void does appear to be a spell that he's concentrating on. Okay. In which case, I think I'm actually going to... Because I have War Cap... Mage Slayer. Mm -hmm. He has disadvantage on every concentration check. He certainly does. Um, if if I hit him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Eldritch Blast is a D10. Yeah, let's just see if I can hit him. That's a good shot. Um, 17 to hit. 17 will not hit Hadar. The first blast almost warps the space around it. Second one shifts the space, causing these beams to almost fold around him as if an invisible shield is there. Uh, 23. 23 will hit. Okay, and that is six points of damage. Six points of damage. Still it's it is a I mean, DC, DC 10. And it, yeah. he has disadvantage mm -hmm. because of uh, Mage This Slayer. will only fail if I roll a one. Maintains concentration. One last blast. Uh, sing 23 to hit. 23 hits. And it is a 11 points of damage. Still a 10 then. Still a 10. Still a 10. Two, but not enough. Oh. Still succeeds on a two, unfortunately. It was worth a try. Yeah, so you can yeah. see, like, yeah. as the two kind of bend around him, the next two, it's almost like Hadar almost allows them to hit him and just shrugs them. Does not seem to really bother the creature. Uh, <laughs> he let you hit him. Mm, I'm just trying to see if I've got any bonus actions. <sighs> but I don't think I do. There's nothing really bonus action I can do. Actually, Mm, no, I was going to say second win, but I might save that for like a last minute mm -hmm. a desperado situation. I could compel Jewel him. <laughs> Come on, you big oaf! Um, actually, no, sorry, the manifest echo was a bonus action, so I'm done. Okay, all right. Make sure you get your reclaim potential yeah. hit points back. 
Uh, in that case, at the end of your turn, um, the this is not a legendary action, but the uh, the maw, the maw of doom, uh, will attempt to bite you. Uh, does the maw go towards the nice black hole? It does not. Yeah. Yeah. You tried, boo. You tried. Unaffected. <laughs> I thought he was one of those guys who didn't care about his minions. He might have been. This, is, yeah, I mean, this isn't even like a living thing. This seems to almost be like a manifestation. Uh, that would be a thirty to hit you, I'm afraid. Yeah, gonna hit me? Can you make another strength saving throw for me? Oh, please, I'm really then? good at those. Hey, if it restrains you, you can't get sucked in. True. <laughs> uh, thirteen minus two, eleven. As the teeth enclose around you, Nova vanishes. Oh. And you are swallowed by the doom. Oh man. As you find yourself complete pitch black, you cannot see, you are blinded. You can't be restrained because you are got the free and free action, but you almost feel pressed. Um, and the, the ring is allowing you to move freely, but like almost like you are in something's Press. like stomach or something like that. Um, can I have no And the uh, and then um, the more the more remains. No, the more okay. remains. Um, that was Nova's turn. Lucius. Start my go? Start your go. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please, my friend. If I was Even to, if you are restrained. If I was to reactively get out my captain's command and kind of slam it into the mm -hmm. the rock as an attempt to anchor myself, would it I still will, be... I'd give you advantage on the saving throw. 19. You get plus three from me. You're in the ring. Two. Remember to add your own bonuses 24. as well. 24. 24. <laughs> kind of embeds into the stone and Lucius you feel your body pulled up but you are holding on to the ground as the captain's command is wedged in yeah like clutching onto it and like you are your body's being pulled up but you're resisting you are not pulled up into the sphere I'm going to shout at the spirit next to me yes do not fear Hadar yes continue I forgot something I'm gonna not not take it away from you go to our goddess Siaska please I'm going to try another persuasion. Okay. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> 28. Oh. 28. Oh. The spirit does not move to Siaska on its own. And what you see, what I forgot to do, is Hadar is in the process, and you see one of his arms is elongating, stretching out, almost threatening to reclaim the soul, right? as if oh. on the start of his turn he should have done this already, but <laughs> Mark forgot. And you see it reaching out, and you reach out, and the spirit kind of turning between the two, the confusion, the fear on its face turns into a more solemn, stoic decision, and it, it doesn't look like the spirit has the ability to move on its own, but what it does do is it places a hand over yours, which is clutching the sword, and the spirit almost forms over you and you feel something weird attach um, and for the rest of you who look at Lucius there is almost this kind of like spectral overlay of you almost see like these antlers that are like spectral and this cloak of leaves oh, flowing out is. from him um, as it kind of almost connects with Lucius and has become bonded you are now carrying one of these divine souls Lucius and it remains attached to you nice one. right um, cool so, how does that feel? What does it do? Uh, right now, there is just this feeling of a presence, like a ghostly kind of like um, something is almost bonded with. Not what I had in mind, but okay. Um, um, you also, I'd say it. that like because you passed that same throw, you can move normally. Uh, oh no, you were restrained. I forgot. Yeah. Basically, okay. yeah, I'm restrained. I feel like I'm anchored to this does, sword, right? Does mm -hmm. the bubble disappear because it's Lucius's turn? Yes, the dome does this bit. Thank you. Yeah, you, it's more that you're restrained. Like, you almost kind of pull yourself back down to the ground and, like, you almost feel like you could move using this thing okay. if the, the tendrils weren't sort of, like, keeping you from moving. How often can we do player actions? Uh, there is a recharge. You don't know. Siaska and that will tell you. Yeah, we don't know how long until the shield is back. Yes. But that was rolled. It was. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mark. Yes. Oh. Benevolent DM. Best guy ever. Mm -hmm. You have a bonus action left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but by all means, run me through what you were thinking. All right, got a bonus point. action. We have Callus and then Seth. I haven't moved. Can I let go of my sword, create an arcane gate, go into it, 
because it's between me and the black oh. hole, come out of it towards Hadar. Using the velocity I have. You're lowering it. I'm going to quicken a spell in chromatic orb's face as well. <laughs> so you want to go? Do you, uh, you want speedy to float thing go into in. the air? Speedy thing come out. And then pop out and attack I'm him. Use that velocity. There would be no action in letting go. Here's here's the difficulty, right? I'd say, in theory, the way this works is yes, absolutely, because although you are being restrained by this clinging black fo fog on the, on oh, the main yeah. platform, but but the thing is, is the force movement of the it's of the not, pulling you towards it's it. It's involuntary, so the restrained effect doesn't apply to it. So you would float towards the start if you create the arcane gate, which only lasts a turn because of Lucius, because it's the player rate. You would go in it, you would emerge out of it near Hadar. I will let you take your turn there as in you do what you want, but next turn, go in you it. will automatically okay. go up into the, the sphere. Right. Well, because I think that you wouldn't have any way to anchor yourself to make the yeah, strength the save. the speed you're going, you'll probably start to orbit it. And then you become to orbit. a black hole satellite. Lucius Moon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna pump this chromatic orb up. So you and the spirit. And whereabouts yeah, roughly do you want to come out? Um, Basically, um, between Hadar, uh, no, in, I want Hadar to between, be between me and the black hole. So I'm coming at him towards the black okay. hole. Okay, so you were basically coming from like this side, basically. So that he's, at least, his body's gonna stop. Okay, first. I'll high five you on the way through. <laughs> All right, so as you imagine, you <laughs> let go, having secured yourself, but then you have this idea, you let go, leaves Captain's Command in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. You fly up, you call out, Valor! And then she creates this portal. You travel through it. You appear on the other side of Hadar towards him. You can make I'm your chromatic orb. up a chromatic orb. I'm yeah. quickening it. Yeah, so sure. So I can bonus action it. Absolutely. Seventh level. Okay, here we go. I cannot consume magic. Oh my no! god! Natty one. I mean, if there's anything you want to do to change it. I throw it into my own face. Can you do <laughs> anything? Do you want a seeking spell? Oh, I can Seeking Spell, but I did do Quicken Spell. Can I do multiple meta magic? Seeking Spell is one of the few that I believe you can. All right, I was seeking it, so that's... Remind me, that's four sorcery points. It's four sorcery points. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> I'm going to roll it again. Oh, Natural 20. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this, my friends, this is, is why... This is why you <laughs> remind players of things that they can do. Thank you. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> Thank you, Benevolent DSR. I believe. <laughs> Seventh level Seventh chromatic level. orb. It's, um, it's a lot of talking about wow. dice wise. Let's that is, uh, that's, that's, that's a big roll. Yeah. It's a naughty roll. It's pretty naughty. It's, it's 98. <gasps> so 98 would be 80. 72. 72. 72 and, then and then roll the dice. Oh, that's nasty. And do it on here. <laughs> Plus 47. <laughs> so another 47. That's fine, I go. Oh, look at this big boy! So big now. Ah! I'm the biggest boy yet. A couple of things happen. Uh-oh. First things first, I have to make a concentration check. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Against what DC, was so 70 something. I'm still going to work this out. Because so it's 75 plus 47, 75 which is 85, 125? Sure. That, have I mathed that? I don't know, but let's go with that yeah. because I think that basically puts the DC at like 50 something, 60 something. <laughs> <laughs> Which even I can't succeed, uh, but you never know. Because when I fail a saving throw, mm. I can automatically succeed it using a legendary resistance. Oh. Which I am going oh, to yeah. do. Fuck. So you watch Lucius oh. as you let go of Captain's Command. Here's the other kicker, Lucius. Captain's Command, without you to kind of hold it in place, is pulled up as an unattended object. Hold on, legendary resistance. Yes. I'm an adept. No, no, Legendary Resistance is a special thing to this succeed his, saving like, throws. It's not resistance to damage. Yeah, actual Legendary I'm not resisting the damage. This is succeeding just, on the concentration check. concentration. Oh, I'll let it slide. Captain's <laughs> Command, as an unattended object, is automatically pulled up into the sphere, and as it does, it is broken apart and destroyed. I don't believe it is. I think it's only non-magical items. No. What? Unattended objects. 
Oh, God. Okay, well, maybe it is. No, no, let me read this again. Unsecured objects within 100 feet of the sphere are pulled towards the sphere's centre. But if Lucius is also paying back up towards that... Non-magical objects fully magic. inside the sphere Stand are me. destroyed if they are being worn or carried. Non-magical objects yeah. are destroyed, so it's not destroyed. I'm, yeah, but also, I'm the DM, and I'm yeah. saying it's destroyed. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Wow. <laughs> this isn't, like, it's not Ravenous Void, it's Hadar's Void. Well, no, also, I don't care if it's in... I'm saying this destroys the magic item. Also, the if it was an artefact, I would say otherwise. Yeah. But this is just a fairly uh, mundane magic I have. There's a she sort of thing. Because also I think that there's, you know, there's costs for that amazing yeah. thing. No, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm all for it. You fly up, the captain's command, but you teleport through, and as you do, just this swirling storm of magic. What's the, is this acid or cold? Acid. Big fan of acid. And so just this kind of like burst of orange light just coats Hadar. And you do see, up until this point, every strike, there has been no reaction. There's been like a grunt of annoyance at best. But as it coats, there is this As you see now, parts of that muscle have actually burned. They quickly heal and repair, regenerating over, but you see for the first time that damage. And as it does, as that wound is left, these kind of huge pock marks, these gaping holes where the acid melts away at our flesh, a drop of silver falls to the ground. And also, as he struggles to main concentration on the ravenous void, you see another one of these souls pull itself free. Nice. Have his belly button? His mouth is his belly button. I mean, from the momentum of you just blasting through this guy as well. That These lights are like shot. blasting right next to you. The figure who pulls itself free of Hadar after this brutal attack and the, the concentration, having to sacrifice one of the divine souls to constantly maintain the concentration. The figure appears to be a woman. Her body is dressed almost like a noblewoman's, like a queen's. She wears a crown, long spilling hair, but in her hand she has a bow and arrows and a quiver on her back. And you can see there are almost these trailing chains kind of connected to her belt that kind of fold backwards. Um, and she kind of emerges almost looking around as if in the middle of a battle. Um, and she's pulled free from it. And another one of these divine essences spills on the rocks near his quill. It's where it splashes and lands. Oh, yeah, um, it does. That was just out of my... <laughs> but that is pretty much, I believe, your whole turn. With I think quickened, I've maxed out and then with you, yeah. I think you've maxed out there. Wow. Um, so and as I said, thank you. that is all... You are basically going to just fly into that at the start of your next turn. Yeah. Also, Door of Stars uh, will need a recharge timer it does, as well. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for reminding me. No problem. Oh, you also get 15 temp HP. Going through the arcane gate. Yeah. You do. 15 temp HP. Might be needed. Um, <laughs> Lucius, that is Lucius's turn. That was an epic turn. What a turn. turn, yeah. Yeah. Nice work. At the end of Lucius's turn... Hadar goes home? Hadar is going to use a <laughs> laser yeah. action. Yeah. <clears throat> that was fast. Hmm? That was fast. He is going to use a legendary action and is going to cast another spell. It's not a concentration spell. Uh, as he casts Pulse Wave, targeting Ayla, Sentry, and Callus. All three to make constitution saving throws, please. Pulse, Pulse Wave. Yes. They will get Pulse Wave. Uh, plus three from me. You do indeed. That was 31 for Callus. Day one, success. Rhiannon! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my dice ready. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. Oh, bloody hell. So what do we Very do? Very bloody hell, mate. Right, success for Ayla, yeah. success Very for Callus, half damage to you both. Because uh, I am um, that one, so... Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Rhiannon! Re! God! Oh. Get yourself done! Re! Get yourself done! <laughs> hey, can you swap t-shirts, not too much, please? Not too much damage. It's 21 points of force damage to Sentry, okay. 10 oh, points okay. of force damage to Callus, right. and, um, and to Ayla. However, there's a couple of other effects. Uh, uh, Sentry, you are pulled 15 oh. feet closer to Hadar Hello. as you're kind of pulled to the edge of the platform. All right, it's uh, easier to platform. hit him there. Uh, all, all of you, including Callus, even those who succeeded, your movement is reduced by 10 feet. Oh, shit. Oh. Until the start, until the end of your next turn, sorry. End of next turn. Um, okay. All right. Uh, mm. What a shit. Callus. 
Uh, does he need to do a strength save to... But he's restrained, so. Yes, the restraint is basically yeah. preventing them from moving, but the, the thing is still pulling them up into the sky. 14 plus 16. 30 is a success. Uh, Kalos just kind of almost just slams his feet into the ground, still being clawed out by these things, and kind of like wedges himself in place. And he is, you know, uh, if he was not restrained, he would be able to move normally, but... Uh, is he close enough to Hadar to get an attack in? Uh... He's in... Got 20 foot movement. I would say he can. Well, he can't move because he's restrained. Has he got a gun? He's restrained. No. But I'd say he can because Hadar's kind of like filling up a space, like his arms stretched out and things like that. Like, you, I'd say he can attack him. Huh. So I'm thinking attack and then pull back towards Siaska and Valor. Yeah. He can't move. Restrained. He can't move though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can he save out of the. Uh, he can use his second win to end the condition on himself. Oh, he can do that on yeah. a bonus action. So I'll do that. Um, he also gains hit points back. And yeah, gets 1d10 stuff plus back. 30. Yeah. Uh, he gains okay, so... uh, 39. I rolled a 9 on the wow. detail. 39 HP. Okay. So you watch as Kallus is just like... <clears throat> kind of slams his foot on the ground and almost kind of breaks these tendrils of fog around him. Venice. I love him. I am not done here, Hadar. You and I have unfinished business. Lucius. I could have roleplayed. <laughs> <laughs> I could have roleplayed that more. Let me roleplay, guys. I'm, I'm starving! Please let me roleplay. You can't do this! Please don't do this. It's, his, it's, it's like his when Veracitor had a weird voice. Right. I'm coming for you! So, what's Kalos doing? Um, so I think, yeah, attacking. <laughs> All right, uh, attacking Hadar, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do it, do it, do it. Big roll. <laughs> <laughs> 22 to hit. 22 will just hit. <laughs> oh! Just. <laughs> uh, I will now tell you, 22 is the exact AC. Okay. Uh... <laughs> 13 slashing damage mm-hmm. and. What's a D8? What's a D8? Okay. <laughs> Two radiant damage. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Someone else have colors. <laughs> Wait a minute. You want to know? What's a D8? Uh, how, many, um, how many attacks do I get? Two. She said two. Okay. It was two. Uh, 20. Uh... <laughs> it's plus 18. I don't think I get it. It's 18 plus 10. 28. Yeah. <laughs> plus 10 is the easy one. What's happening to you right now? <laughs> it's Hadar. I'm just thinking, I'm not Hadar Starman. I'm thinking about the Starman. And I'm like, whoa. Sucked all my maths out. Um, <laughs> 16, it happens more than 16 you. slashing damage, 5 radiant damage. Like 21. Um, so you watch oh, as yeah, these two strikes carve in, uh, and you see Hadar just like, mm, your pitiful little bites mean nothing, Gallus. Do we like know? the rest of your empire, it will crumble and fail. That's really mean. Um, do we know if Callus was in Wrath Stance or Guardian Stance? He moved from, because I switched it on my go, yeah. whatever it was. He started Guardian. He started Guardian. So he's in Wrath. So he's in Wrath. So he's in Wrath, so, so I need plus another, 20. Yep, another 20 damage. Um, so all of that. Yeah, you watch. I remember two. being like, I should have been in Guardian. Okay, so it does mean he would have taken some more damage yeah. on his turn as well, so just deal him another yeah, 10, I'll, say another 10 points. 20 per attack or? Uh, plus 10 per attack oh, when he's in Wrath Stance, oh, but he yeah. takes extra damage and he has lower AC and stuff and things like that. And then 20 foot of movement towards... He is restrained. Oh no, he broke his free of restraint. Yep. Well, right. his movement got reduced, right? By yeah, the... so 20 foot movement to oh, Valor. Yeah. He's fine, he's gone. And I don't know if that little sca- scab wants to have a little swipe or... I don't care about. He him sucked into the void. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, that would 100% have what been what happened. He gets sucked up and <laughs> just destroyed. Um, all right, end of Callus's turn. End of Callus's turn, and he says something really cool and like I whips his that. hair back, and it's like raid oh, okay. action. Oh god. Two. Electric. You watch as that storm of the void wrought cataclysm oh. builds, <laughs> and we now see a massive line Would... starting from the back of this platform oh, no. all the way down, so... covering the entire width. It is forty foot wide. And it goes the entire length of this thing. So Sentry, Ayla, Callus, Valor. Would Hadar have to do um, concentration checks on those would. attacks? Oh. So two attacks. Yes. Uh, again, I think the damage would not have been high enough, even with a plus 10. Yeah. Uh, it would have been, I think he did like 20. About 20. About 20 something. So I'll put it at about like 12. But with his bonuses, he succeeds on the Ravenous Void. His constitution is very, very high. Um, Worth asking. Oh no, Mark. No, yep. Okay, yeah. It's when it gets picked up. That's what it is. Um, 
So you watch as this massive column, as that storm now grows. Callus, uh, Hadar, sorry, almost forms it into a giant screaming mouth that seems to be charged, primed, ready to surge along the platform towards Valor and Siaska. When their shield crumbles, you will understand the folly of your actions. Sentry. Okie dokie. Um, so, can I, first of all, enlarge to try and give myself advantage against this black hole? Well, the black hole thing happens at the start of your turn. Okay. So this is gonna, you're gonna have to make that strength save now. Rock and roll, buckaroo. (laughs) Come here. Oh, oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Thank you. 20. 20 is not enough, I'm afraid. Uh-oh. Sentry, you are pulled up <laughs> to fly up into the uh, the sphere. There I go. <laughs> 28 points of force damage. You are pulled up 100 feet to the middle of the sphere, feeling your armor break and disintegrate around you. She's not good. Um, she's not good, is she? What can I do? What can I do? Wait, did you have a moat on you that stops? That I believe you, you do have a damage. divine essence. I am resistant to all damage. Yeah. All right, so you, you take half that. damage on so everything. I just remembered that you had that. Oh yeah, what, the moats. I've got what they actually. They give you, you half actually, damage yeah. to every every type of damage. Uh, for a turn. Resist, for until a turn. yeah, until the end of your next. But turn. she's she's still got one. Wow. All right. Mm-hmm. And more, and it also clears all stacks of doom. That too. Oh. You, oh, I'm yeah. gonna suck up that one next to me. Yeah. Oh, I got doom. Can I? Like a uh, you didn't take any necrotic like damage in. Yeah. 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 So can I? Uh, can I try and fly down? Do you have a fly speed? Um, it just says that I can. Uh, oh, you can fly because you've got a mount. I can fly. Thing. Then you can. So can I fly twenty feet? You are technically restrained whilst you are in the sphere. My bonus action Starbreaker, I won't be. Then I would say, then yes. Then I will that bonus action as well. Starbreaker. It breaks free of Restranger. Wow. Give, so I have another. It does the get another does level of exhaustion. Does does give, the weapon does have The it. exhaustion is mounting up. Remember, it's a minus one for every level of it. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of summon the energy of Starbreaker into you, the green glow spiraling up, and you break free of this restraint. You are now free to move. You have a fly speed. Okay. Um, so. Oh my god. It's alright. You've just you've just had a baby. We can give you some time. Um so I'm gonna try and fly down twenty feet. Mm-hmm. Um so then I'm still eighty feet in the air. Misty oh, no her bonus action Starbreaker. Well, you have a fly speed of fifty feet, minus ten, forty feet. So you could go forty feet down, so you'd be sixty feet away from him. Sixty feet. So then you could you've already used your bonus action, uh-huh. you could dash. Get another uh, 40 feet. Okay, I'll do that. That gives you about 20 feet away from him. 20 feet away. The, the black hole was 60 feet up, wasn't it? Um, from the ground, it would have been 80 feet up. Okay. Eight, yeah. Okay. So I've still got 20 feet to go. Yes. That's fine. That's not too bad. I've got full 20 feet. That's all right. I can take that. Well. Oh yeah. Um, and then I will. I will enlarge to give myself advantage for the next. Does Stargain sure. still have movement left? Yeah. Does, no. Does, he doesn't have any. No, he no. used it all. All right. Um, so, yeah, you're going to enlarge. Yeah, and then I guess I can't reach those two <laughs> elemental. I can't reach them because they're too far away, so. The the two spirits, yeah. no, they are on the ground. They don't seem to be being pulled up. Like, the spirits seem almost anchored to the ground. All right. That's, that's my turn. That's my movement, everything. Okay. All yeah. right. Quilliam. Quilliam! Willy Billy. Um, well, I... Uh, Essentially, that means your moat, your divine essence is now ended, if yep. I can take that back. Of course. Um, oh, actually, I think I'm about to give it to Quill. Already? Yeah. I'm a, um, well, I don't know, I'm about to get... Uh, oh, I need you to make a strength saving throw, that's very true. Strength, what have I got here? Oh, plus one. So, what's the... DC is I mean, roll 20, it. so... Well, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Three. Yep. Quill is also pulled up. 
Actually, even if I argued for advantage, I, I can't. I was going to say I'm just going to try and fly away from this thing, but this like... won't help. This is not like wind. This uh, is... I mean, I'm trying anyway. Uh, uh, 24 points of force damage as you are pulled up into the same sphere. And you are now restrained. Um, Hadar, however, though, he's a deity, right? Yes. Counts as a divine being. Mm. So anti-magic field, I would know, wouldn't work. Shit. Certainly not on this current active spell, because it is cut created by a deity. Yeah. Um, give me some time. Might work on other things. Maybe later in the fight, but you don't know. Later in the fight? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you don't count it out entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, give me some time. I just had a baby. <laughs> okay. A food lady. That's not a baby, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, anti-magic field ain't working. Um, I will. I want to try and break his concentration. Okay. And I'm so high up and so far away, a heal wouldn't reach anyone anyway. So I will do a sunbeam. Okay. Um, right up against him. I'm going to light him so well, he's going to look gorge. <laughs> okay. Um... So yeah, it makes a constitution save. Success. Okie doke. He is not blinded, but he takes half damage of 68. Okay. Nice. Um, so he would take... Haha, these guys are going everywhere. <laughs> 22, so an 11 save. So he, that's the already halved, the 22? No. Because uh, he succeeded. Oh, sorry, yeah, he takes 11 damage. 11 points, yeah. And then a DC 10 constitution on that one. Um, so if I roll one, I did not. Did not. That's my action, and my bonus action is to... Uh, I'm, I'm being tossed around in this thing. I'm going to say I don't have any bonus actions anyway, so that is my... Okay. Which I, I say me. All right. Is that cool? Third talk. Is that sure. cool? End of turn. End of turn. <laughs> cool, you are currently being held. 100 feet above. Yeah, being torn apart, actually. So as the void wrought cataclysm, this mouth surges down the platform. It actually passes underneath you. Okay, good. You are escaped from this, I believe. Gets everyone else on the platform. Sentry, Ayla, Callus. Well, this is where it matters, because the raid actions don't necessarily target you guys. It is targeting Valor and Siaska. Sentry is going to take some damage, but she cannot help intercept the attack. She's going to take some damage. Callus and Ayla are both there. This attack... I don't want you to hate me. All it's right? going to be horrific. This attack deals a lot of damage. When you intercept it, you and any creature that choose to intercept it decide how much of the damage you wish to take. Anything oh. left over is spilt onto Valor and Siaska. The damage is 250 points of damage. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, Callus I mean, will take one half. He will take 125. He's just taking it. He will take 125 points of damage. I'm going to make that call for him. Okay. Has that knocked him under 100? 125, it does not. Okay. I might change. I'm going to slightly change that. I'm going to have that trigger in a minute. Okay. What would you like to do, Ayla? It's your choice. And this, this, will, not be res this will not be reduced by your resistance. This is technically. Uh, Can I choose like a number of? Like, yeah, yeah. You you choose like you basically. There's 250. There is now 125 points of damage left. You choose how much of that damage you want to take. Anything left. Oh, there's over 150 left. Uh, 125 left. 100. Yeah, Callus has taken a hundred half of it. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. So I'll it's take 250. The rest of it, then. I'll yeah. take the rest of it. So That's you take fine. 125. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So between Callus and I thought, I thought and you were asking us both to take 250. No, 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 no. I was like, uh, so there is a pool of 250 like, points of damage. I'll take the rest of it. Anybody yeah. who intercepts it chooses how much yeah, of that absolutely. they take. All right. So yeah. between you, Callus <laughs> and Ayla, you step in front of of uh, Valor and Siaska sort of sword outraged or hammer and you just block as much of this as you can using your body to shield the other two as you are just like I would say that this probably would like rip off pieces of like your armor it would like rip pieces of like you know uh, Callus's armor away it would scorch your arms to the face it kind of just like <laughs> leaves you both like heavily beaten as you take 125 points of damage each um, however that's rad you are left still standing 
That's so cool. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> How many hit points is Callus on currently, Tommy Wombus? It's a good one. Uh, 100 and nice. 169. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and in fact, I'm going to have something trigger then. Oh, is he going to get ragey? Angie Callus. Well, there was something here. Oh, he if something angry. happens, I, uh, then yeah, inform I'm going to slightly end. adjust the, uh, the HP levels here. When Callus is struck by this, kind of like shielding Valor and Siaska, you see this moment where something almost flashes in his eyes. Not anger. Well, some anger, but a protective spirit. A kind of paternal, perhaps for Valor, uh, the love, you know, protecting the love of his life. And he kind of slams the sword Calathea into the ground. And he looks up at Hadar. Enough! I once drowned in a sea of despair like you. I thought that everything was pointless, that there was only one path to victory, that we were limited. But I see now that I was wrong. I have traveled, I have fought beside those who have broken through their limitations, who have overcome the impossible. They did not do it for greed or arrogance or because they felt that they were some hero in some eternal story. They did it because there were things that they sought to protect, things that they, s people that they loved. My days as emperor are over. Today, I forge new oaths. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Today I swear that for all of those who have fallen, their dreams, the hopes of all those who are yet to come, they shall become blades forged together that I will use to carve a path towards a tomorrow, towards a future that needs no heroes. <laughs> and you watch, and Lucius, you had seen that within Callus there was this ember, mm. small ember still, this golden light yeah. hid under layers of dark armor. Even without the true sight, you will see this golden aura of flame as Callus embraces his destiny with an oath of love. Oh, and he gains the oath's renewed abilities. <sighs> oh, okie doke. One thing which is important for you all to note is he has gained the aura of passion, giving each of you plus four to hit and damage whilst you are within what? his aura. Within 30 feet. Yes. I'm in another dimension. I don't see any of this. You did. It's a good thing I wouldn't. She would have passed out. Nobody would have passed out. <laughs> Swooned too, too much. <laughs> With that, and the void wrought cataclysm having wrecked havoc, oh my God. we begin a brand new turn. So we can do time, guys. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. Holy shit. Awesome. Ayla. Oh, OK. Um, Ayla will just hold up the hammer, sort of crack the neck after taking that damage yeah. and then kind of back to back with callus like the two just, of you kind of ready i'll just smile and run towards hadar and <laughs> yeah do you need you to make a strength saving throw but oh I, yeah shit i, I can choose I to make it a 25 you... as well yeah, yeah, 15 you are fine <laughs> like you will feel this thing trying to pull you up but maybe it's just you dig your feet so hard into the ground it almost anchors you in place stomp 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 as you begin making your way forwards you've got that plus four from callus as well yep and Ayla, make him suffer <laughs> that's some pain uh -huh. right there <laughs> okay uh, please. Oh, it's a 16 plus 19 to hit. Because I've got that thing. Yeah, Meh. sure do. Yeah. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 16 on the hammer, one lightning for the first one. Oh, and plus four to damage. Oh, 
Plus four. Hang on, give me a second. Uh, so 17, so 21. Yep. Um, <laughs> the hammer slams in. Oh, 18 plus 19. It's. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 on the hammer. Uh, six lightning. Plus a dex save. Well, before that dex save, you watch as again, now striking a oh, second blow. There was a couple of things because another slither and there's another divine essence is going to emerge. As the hammer strikes, it kind of sends it flying onto the ground behind you. And you now see that as these essences and as the souls are being detached from Hadar, there is now, there's no facial features, but there's franticness to the movements. There's franticness. There is rage behind the attacks. Uh, dexterity saving throw. And then I will do my concentrate and as a natural 20 and succeed oh. saving throw. Oh boy. Sad I've time to use, use that it. on a saving throw. I'm sad. I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm, I'm... I've rolled two sixes and a five so far, so... 17... <laughs> 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Lightning damage. Um, can I... Let me, make, let me make some concentration checks. Ooh. First one's a natural 20. Second one is an 18. And then the lightning damage. That's a three. No! Um... Can I put my hand out to the creature beside me mm -hmm. and just say... The woman with the bow. Yeah, just say, you either join us or you go back to him! Give me an intimidation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, mama. <laughs> I don't want me to... Anyone can scare the gold. Oh, 18 plus 6. Is enough. <laughs> you just watch. <laughs> And it's not a look of, she's not frightened of you, Ayla, but there's like a, you see, and it's like a half face, because this is like a spectre, right? This is almost like you can see their body shifting, like they've been, I want to say almost digested, this soul. But the half face that you can see, just a smirk and a nod. Kind of slams her hand into your back, and again you see the same kind of effect that happened to Lucius. The spirit almost phases into you, and now from Ayla's back, like this long trail, almost like a dress train, but made of chains, um, and like almost her hair almost seems to flow even longer than it normally does. Some of it now spectral, uh, as the spirit bonds to you. You hear Siaska, Lucius, Ayla, bring them to me. I think we are nearing the point where we can weaken him. The Hello? spirits, the spirits, the essences. I have enough movement to get back to Siaska. Go for it. I'm going to do it. All right. He will get an attack opportunity. That's fine. A couple of things happen. I'm going to take my attack opportunity. Please crit. No! Don't crit! <laughs> <laughs> no! Be epic! Has Be epic! <laughs> And then I was like, no, it's a zero. Oh, I got <laughs> shit. I want to celebrate it. <laughs> but I don't. Well, you just got to do some oh big Let me work this out. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm in a hole. Let me work. I'm in a hole of dimension. <laughs> you points. fucking shit. Hey, listen, it's, at, at least I crit you. If I crit any of these others, they're they would dead. be game they're over. They're permadead. Yeah, yeah it'd true. be game yeah. over. Well, it might, well, I don't know how much his crits do, so. Oh, we'll find out. Uh, I did just take 125 damage. You rolled 86 against me. Yeah, I'm right. Plus the doom. You're gonna need to help me. Oh. I'm still too far away. <laughs> help us all. Nah, I'm gonna cheer Actually, here. yeah, everyone's getting really low, actually. I'm getting digested. I'm just gonna vibrate out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many doom tokens you got, Aelin? One. Okay, one, good. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, so, that's gonna be... Two, three, damage. It's a lot, trust me, it's a lot. What kind of damage is it? I'll tell you in a minute, because I'm gonna I'm gonna half it. I'm gonna pre-do all the math for you. Uh, what a kind DM. Oh, 
Man. This is cool as hell. <laughs> My heart. Now, where is it? Hummingbird. <laughs> you have one? <laughs> Did you bring it in today? It's in your other jeans. <laughs> when did I last see it? Uh, you you don't currently it. have the SD, so it's just uh, resistance yeah. to normal. That's right? not the spirit. Yeah, that only lasts until the end of your next turn. No, but the spirit is... The spirit isn't doing it. Oh. Not for resistances. Uh, but you have normal slashing resistance, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, and this is pre pre uh, rage resistant. I'm gonna pre work right. it out for you. This is so gonna be. Post? No, this is pre rage. He's gonna say the full amount, and then he's gonna half. The... I've already done the halving. Oh right, okay. This is the full amount of damage oh, you're about okay. to take. Okay. okay. 121 points of damage. Oh, Holy shit! Right. That's hard. Someone needs. That, to the, it. There was 68 slashing damage, half yeah, to 34, to Someone needs and then to 87 it. necrotic damage. 60 something. So as you run oh, back, the claws rake down your back, Halo, almost trying to grab that spirit, pulling it from you. And no! Give that back! And then you kind of manage to step forward, and as you reach out, Siaska reaches out a hand. As it touches you, you watch as that spirit almost pulls itself from you into Siaska, and a burst of light encapsulates and just bursts forth and fills the space. Two things happen. I'm going to make a concentration check against the Ravenous Void. The DC is basically going to require me to roll 15 or higher. Oh, oh okay. 25%. Five. You watch as that star in the air, as the spirit touches Siaska, the light breaks that magic apart as the divine energy fills into Siaska. You also watch as that light passes over Hadar himself, the red muscle, the mouths, everything seems to almost ripple in in horror and pain for the first time <laughs> seeing like, blah, as the light kind of passes over, you see a catch a glimpse. Everyone make perception checks for me. I'm, another, I'm so excited about that. I would very much like to make a perception check. It wasn't an act 20, but yeah. I was I got an act 20 plus 7, 27. <laughs> yes. Good, good, it was good. having both a really good and really fucking so bad time this run. <laughs> hey, that's D&D, &D, man. 15. 15? Uh, 31. 31, 27. 20. 20. The 27 and the 31. Only ba The 27 barely catches this. Oh, wow. Quill, you actually see it. There is a moment where inside, where that chest kind of mouth and the darkness that was in, the light almost seems to create a gap, like a, a fissure in the darkness. And you see that there is something within Hadar. You see a flash of silvery light, a cage made of bone and teeth and black sinew holding something silvery. It's gone in an instant, fades away. Yeah, okay. So I do see that just. You do just barely, okay. yes. As it kind of ripples back and you see Hadar recoiling in rage. No, no, enough. <sighs> Why? Why can you not just accept this? You will break everything. Look at Valor. Look, a year ago she was nothing but a mortal girl. Now she commands a power that she cannot comprehend. You do not understand what you will do. You do not understand what you will reach, what you will, what you will unleash upon the universe. With that, that was Ayla's turn. Anything else on your turn, Ayla? Ow. That was a That's fucking turn. Hadar's turn. Oh, it was my I'm at Siaska now, by the way. This little gnome no. No. reaches down. No. And you see that like the wounds that you have caused almost seem to heal up, but you can see that that figure is kind of consumed. But Hadar looks incredibly different to that composed entity that you encountered before. He's going to turn around. And with the, with the ravenous void gone, he's going to, first things first. I presume I don't fall. You, you can oh, fly. you can fly. Yeah. So I'd say you can start flying. Sentry does uh, fall a little bit. No, you've no, got you can fly. You can fly. Uh, Lucius might fall. Yeah. You don't have flying, do you? No. Oh, no. You are currently in the void, yeah. Lucius. Not even uh, bullet Oscillate. momentum? No. <coughs> 
He also Slayton. Yep. Can you move me by Siaska? Yes, sir. I'll do it. And the little spirit is with her. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? No, I'm on by Siaska. That's fine. He is going to move and almost stretches his form up. Uh, with both hands, one is going to reach for Quill, one is going to reach for Sentry. Oh. Make two attacks. Uh, one each? Yeah, one each. Ooh. Right or die, bud. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Sentry, Yo. 31 to hit. That'll hit. Quill, oh, shit. 29 to hit. Like, not much. How much are like, you on, bud? No I'm, on, uh, I'm on 49. I think yeah. you're going to go down, but we'll see. We might not. We might not. I might roll bad. Um, Reassuring nod, followed by, I think you're going to go down. You're going to die. I think I think I think, I think four of us. First. Wait, what are you on? No, you're gone. But uh, I think four of us are on like low, very low. Better get Quill up then. Uh, I can. <laughs> how many Doom tokens you got, boy? Oh, I'm on four now. Four. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Well, you get another one. That goes up to five. Oh my god. I, I'm a hundred feet in the air, my guy. Yeah, you're gonna 80 take feet in the air. death saves. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's the same thing. I've got to stop flying. Oh, that's not going to roll. God, that's a lot of four, fives, and sixes. Uh -huh. yeah, you're going. I can't. I don't have any way to heal, though. I don't know. It could be. Bam I don't know. It could be. Could be could I mean, that's on, that's on top of the. Dooms. Yeah, you've got dooms. Oh, sorry. No, that's the Doom's on top of the original. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's out. He's got 49 hit points. Yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. He just said 49. Plus 73 total oh. damage. Um, he's that out. Doom tokens mounting up as one claw oh. reaches down. Uh, if it's all right, I'm just going to use the same damage roll because I don't want to roll all I'm that down. again. Central. Yeah. Wait, yeah, what, what, what I, HP you want? 68. Before. Yeah. Does that include the Dome? I've got, no, I've got no Doom. You have no doom. I have no doom. I cleared it last turn. In that case, I will I will roll it completely. I will roll it completely. Yeah, I was going to say because if there was a chance of physical damage. Yeah. I might be alright. What's Lucius on? My sunbeam. Fifty. Plus fifteen ten. Use that spell. We're on a bit the same. You're fine. Oh, I think this will be okay. Okay. Cool. Fifty total. Oh, close. Very close. 50 total. That was a good point because the Doom, there's, there was five extra D6 from the Doom there. That yeah, made a big yeah, difference. Yeah. So yeah, 50 points of damage. Just one claw. <laughs> Rakes Quill, sending him plummeting to the ground. The next one, <laughs> Sentry uh, Quill. Unfortunately, that is going to be one auto death save fail. It is. Plummet. It is. Uh, yeah. But I'm on the ground. Hey. I'm all right with that. Not within stomping distance. I've been within uh, stomping distance for a while. As a bonus I action, I will use his tendrils of doom. <laughs> I need all of you to make a charisma or constitution saving throw, even if you are unconscious, please. What if you're in another dimension? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you are it? technically still within the reach Con of his charisma. domain. Uh, con or charisma? So I'm making this as well. Uh, yes, please. Uh, how far is Sentry? 26, 27, 28, 29 right. with Sentry. You're on the ground, Success. like 20 feet in the air, so you get plus three. Oh, okay. Oh. So 20, 23. All right. Uh, 22 or higher is a success. So anybody who gets oh, under nice. a uh, 17. Yeah. Oh my god. I got 28 too. Oh, 20. All right. So pretty much everybody but Lucius succeeded. Yeah, um, everybody who's, even if you succeeded, everybody gains one additional Doom token. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Lucius, you would take two Doom tokens um, and then uh, some necrotic damage. How many Doom tokens do you currently have? Seven. Oh, oh my fucking god. Fucking what? Did you not oh, get a moat? He's not got a moat. Nope. Wait, what did you touch the spirit? He can touch the spirit. The spirits don't cleanse it, the moats do. So is that the only sentry that's picked up a moat? Nope. I know it has as well. Yeah. At the start, that was the first one. You were the first one. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who. Uh, that would be 12 necrotic damage as well. I rolled pretty bad. 12 with the doom? That's, that's just, that's, that's, that's all the doom, doom damage. Wow. Sick. You basically take doom damage depending on how many you have. So you gain two and then you take a bunch of doom. Uh, so those tendrils kind of lash out and he just looks around, seeing like seeing Quill down, seeing Sentry heavily injured, Ayla heavily injured. It's just like, yes, now is the time. Now I just need to get rid of them. And he looks towards uh, Vala and Siaska. Yeah, his balls. Oh, oh, balls, balls. Oh, if I take this hit. How does he split his balls so far apart? Well. <laughs> 
Like this, bro. I thought <laughs> Remember, there's time. For these podcast projectiles listeners. move <laughs> as they come down. Two conjures, two of these glowing red orbs that begin slowly making their way towards Valor and Siaska. That is Hadar's turn. Uh, I think we are going to have to take a break, break there. I think we have to, right? Do it. We have to. Think again. <laughs> I, I, I think gonna that is going to be the end of part one. Join us in part two as we. This fight is close, but there is still a lot to happen. Join us in part two. See you then. Bye. See ya. Bye. You join us for part two of the final episode of High Rollers Erois. Our party are battling Hadar, the Red Star, the all consuming. The battle has taken a turn. Hadar, previously toying with the party, now unleashing rage and power to not only try and destroy Valor and Siask, but now also taking out his anger and aggression on the party themselves. A desperate crit against Ayla, powerful strikes against Quill and Sentry, Nova being trapped by this moor of doom in another demiplane, and Lucius now trapped in the void. Things look grim, but as always, there is always light in the darkness. We jump back in with Nova Vija. Hi. You are in darkness. So in the last in the last episode, <laughs> <laughs> you said that Hadar could still slap me with his tentacles. Yes. So I'm. Yep. You were still throwing, affected by his power in the domain. Throwing myself on the mercy of the DM. I have Dimension Door, which mm-hmm. says you arrive exactly at the spot desired, which is within 500 feet. I'm range. aware of the spell. <laughs> so I just have to visualize it. And what I want to visualize yep. is the top of Hadar's head. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a specific one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's probably a mouth there. Because I want to come crashing down on him. Okay. The blue bullet, return! I want a blue oh. bullet. <laughs> There might not be any extra momentum from the dimension door, but you would certainly appear within striking distance if this works. The question is, Nova Vija, I'm not going to tell you if this is going to work, but is that what you're trying to do? That is what I'm trying to do. Okay. Close your eyes. Uh, at the start of your turn, however, you do take some damage uh, as you are in the Doom War. Uh, <clears throat> how many Doom tokens do you currently have? Three. All right, you add two more, so you currently have five. <laughs> For you. This would be a total of 55 points of necrotic damage. As you feel this like force eating away at you, breaking you apart, you close your eyes and you can almost hear your allies. You hear Callus's booming voice. Tiangong whispering. This place is beyond this realm. But for once, in just this moment, we can carve a path. Whoosh, draw the blade. And you watch as reality itself is split apart as you see the flashes of the battlefield and as you pull yourself free of this doom wall, you will appear directly above Hadar as the dimension door works. Hell yeah. Oh. That is your action. Get him! Get him! What would you like to do with the rest of your turn, Nova Vija? I would like to use a free action to action surge. I'm going to have you appear. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Land, Land on me. Surge. Land on the Take bird. Away. And I would like to bonus action summon Tiangong. <gasps> oh, sh- Sorry, that's actual Nova. The two of you. Yeah. Falling together, the Echo and Nova combined. <sighs> Blades at the ready, streaking starlight behind you. Get it, get it, get Very it. cool. Let me watch me as I roll on that one. Nat 20, Nat 20, Nat 20. Manifest it. Three, 60. <laughs> you are in Callus's aura. Which well, means... Yeah, plus four. Which it's is not enough. <laughs> well, not this attack, but that was one of many. It was one. It's more than three this time. Okay. You got, just, just let the so dice what, be. What is your bonus? Plus 13. So plus 17. 17 for, yeah. You need a five or higher. 17! Yeah. Manifested! First one hits. Wait, if I say 17. Um, 20? 
um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 uh, points of damage. Plus 4. Plus 4. From starving. 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 points, points of damage. damage. I would like to unleash Incarnation, yes. which is a free action. Yeah, you bloody do. Um, so this is Tiangong. Well, that's only two attacks. You've only made two attacks so far. You have three attacks. Yeah, you made two. So this is your third attack. But I can unleash at the end of every attack. No. Can I not? You can do it once per action. Once when you make the attack action, you can do one unleash incarnate. So you get an extra attack every time you attack. So you get. Th this is your third attack as Nova. So what was that? Roll. I picked it up. Roll and roll again. <laughs> this is your third attack. Ten. Ten. Ten plus with your bonus. 17. Plus seventeen. No, so twenty-seven. Yeah. Four. No, 27 total. Yeah. 13, yeah, plus 4 is um, 27 total. Is it hit? Uh, 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. With the plus 4 from starving? 11. 15. Sorry. Yep. I keep okay. forgetting about starves. That's why Tom's reminding you. It's not a problem. It's pretty good. Now it would be your Unleashing Carnage. Oh, it's a 2. Unfortunately, so as you strike, Hadar brings up these claws, bending you off as the strikes rain down. Um, still kind of carving in, could seeing these slivers of starlight, almost trying to strike at one, but it moves just at the last minute, almost as if Hadar itself is willing these slivers of a soul away from the point you're trying to strike. Uh, anything else on your turn, Nova Vija? Everything I can do. In case you are going to fall. Yep. I'm going to have you take two. Whoa! Oh, a secret. Reality is collapsing. His void just fell on us. It's very fitting, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, Pretty sure Lucius was next to Siaska. <laughs> take another nice six try. points of bludgeoning damage, Nova, as you fall. You land, <laughs> looking up at Hadar. Again, the being itself. Whilst your attacks have definitely had some effect, like it seems to have just healed over any sort of like actual lasting damage. But you can see that these slivers of these souls, these spirits are like failing, fading out. Um, after Nova, we have Lucius. Lucius, at the start of your turn, you are currently in the void. Yeah. A few things are gonna happen. You are technically, uh, unless you have a fly speed, you're basically speed zero as you're just floating. Uh, you take uh, some cold damage. Do you have resistance to cold? I'm an elemental adept. Yeah, you, that doesn't give you resistance, <laughs> though. I'm just telling you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, 25 points of cold damage. Oh, God. Are you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You are also suffocating. Oh, again? Uh, so you have one round plus your con modifier, which is plus one, I think. Okay. So you have two rounds before you will so basically die. You are, like, in space. You're like, okay. If you can fly, you can move, but without a flying speed, you're basically oscillating. Quick and you spell. can still attack and stuff, yeah. Quick and spell, cast fly on myself. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use my whole action to dash to Siaska. Oh, nice. Yes! Not sure. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> I brought the thing. <laughs> you reach out, as you kind of land, Siaska reaches out, touches your hand, and again, you feel that same spirit pass over you. She just <laughs> smiles at you. She's like almost dead. She's like <laughs> emotional damage there. Yeah, right. I'm ready to die. You are perfect. <laughs> she would, you are perfect enough without them. And then she Aww, takes them. She would, Siaska would never be mean. Okay. Um, as the spirit passes in to Siaska, mm. again, you see that bright flash of light. Um, there is no spell that Hadar is concentrating on, but you see again kind of like twisting. Would and it affect the, the layer things? No. I will say it will destroy the Doom more, so Tom can pass me the Doom more. It, oh, this yeah, here, here, have my Doom more. Uh, as it is no longer, it doesn't have anybody to hold on to, and as Siaska's power hits it, it kind of evaporates it. I'm going to roll to see if it destroys the orbs. It are balls. No, I'm not going to roll. It destroys them. Absolutely. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yay! Watch as the golden light of Siaska deflects this energy away, almost pressing it back out into the void. Um, as uh, Mainly because he's not concentrating on a spell. If he was concentrating on a spell, I'd have it affect that instead. And again, you see that flicker. Quill. You're the only one to catch this this time. That fissure he's, he's that you saw. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. Mm. Nobody sees nothing. 
<laughs> what? Um, Nobody sees nothing. What's the fly speed on fly? Sixty feet. I think so I can do 120. So I can go by you. Well, yeah, yeah, you could. Well, I'm just saying, if you can dash, obviously, but like, yeah, you can reach 60 feet. You would get there without dashing. Yeah. So you would still have your. So you still have it. What are you gonna do with it, buddy? I'm gonna give Will a kiss on the way. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go to. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> you, I mean, you, you can just. That's the Jonathan. Could you give Quill a kiss? I think you like kiss. I think it took you 50. I'm going to. I just had an idea. Okay, you just gave me an idea. I had a single idea. All sure. Me. <laughs> I'm going to use my stored spell that Quilly Baby <laughs> gave me and secure wounds at. Nice cure wounds. This level. That's a great idea by me. 3d8 all, all plus 6. Uh, you roll it. It's me, your spell. Me, it is my spell. Uh, so 3d8 plus. Six. Is it still plus 6 or is it his? Nope, it will be yours. yours. You cast the spell. Aces. Watch this. And this is oh, to pretty much back. everybody. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, I was get, ready. Get you up. Uh, it him up. It's uh, 14 healing. 14 to everybody, including Callus. Yay! And then I would have Callus flown towards... 14, was that? Yes. 14, yeah. Um, then I would have flown towards Siaska. Okay. But I left a little present for Quill next to him. Okay. Next to his body. It's a vial. That's a shit! <laughs> a vial?! <laughs> listen, listen, listen! listen. <laughs> Fucking listen! This is really yourself. cool! <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Listen! I was also no, I was gonna say, using the ring, the dash, everything, I don't think you're gonna have time to drop them. You, no. <laughs> you get nothing. You get nothing. You fucked it. So uh, you could have had that. I, no, it couldn't. Oh, you know what? Just because Tom has ruined the moment, <laughs> not because of any other reason, though, no, I'm gonna use a legendary action. <laughs> After Lucius' turn. That's fair. Don't take it next to me. And I'm going to target you with a me. line. Oh. oh. From Hadar. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the width of this line there? Five feet, so it's going to strike Nova, Quill, uh, and Lucius. Uh, so yes, Actually, no. What do you want to. No. He's going to hit us. He's going to hit everybody but Nova and Sentry. Hey. I, gonna... I need you all to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, Plus two. Plus three. And That's from attacks from Starbeam, right? There's nothing from him. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. Sentry gives you a plus three to all saving throws. Sentry. Constitution saving throw. I'm 20 feet in the air, so... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's an orb. It's I just lost math. Yeah? Am I close enough to Sentry? Yes. And let's just say everyone gets yes. Sentry's bonus just to make it so we don't have to worry about it. I will also say, because basically everyone is running Starbeam, he has a reaction. When an ally takes damage, he can... Uh, Give them resistance, and Callus takes equal damage. Yeah. Um, if it's an AOE like this, Callus will automatically fail his saving throw, but still grant the resistance to the other person. That's nice. Quill, would you like him to use it on yourself? Oh, I, I have 12 HP. So do it. Callus would want to protect you. If that's what Callus wants to do, as seeing like because he knows what you're capable of, he's a tactician. Well, he knows that. he's smart enough. Mm. He would want to try and protect you because he knows that you can potentially heal everyone. Like the tactician in him would be like save Quill. Yeah, no, my my thinking was halving the damage is probably more than twelve anyway. But if it doesn't matter, like, 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 like yeah. make, you know, in terms of what a character would do, it's what he would do. Okay, and it's his reaction once per turn. So once per turn, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's not a one and done thing. Uh, so DCs thirty five. You succeed. You're gonna take half damage. Um, uh, seven. So full damage, but you're gonna gain resistance. Uh, who else is in the line? Oh, in the Lucius twenty two. 22 is a success, just Ooh. barely, so half damage. Mm. And then nice. Sentry's not there. Um, Siaska and Valor are going to take this damage because I'm going to specifically target them as part of the spell. <laughs> I need to find the right dice. Where are my dice? Where not the ones that have been rolling high. Oh, I can't promise that. I'm worried about Doom as well. Bro, this is not necrotic. <laughs> okay. Good, because uh <laughs> This is going to be bu -bu 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 -bu. uh it's not too much. I rolled pretty bad. Um it is gonna be twenty points of damage to oh. those who failed. So okay. ten points of damage to everyone what who succeeded. Kind of damage? Force damage. Okay. 
So, so, so with resistance, he will take full 20. That's fine. Count, and you will take 10, Quill. Oh, I'm on two. Oh, my God. But he kind of, so Count like teleports, Quill! And he kind of shoves you out of the way as this line kind of creates like a gravity fissure and tries to pull you in as this line of black and dark energy kind of pulls the threat in you in. Can you also, these platforms, can you line them up, those of you who can reach them, into a line? Ooh, so they're like, like forming together, or as in like a line f- heading way. towards the bottom of the camera, yeah. Make it look as nice as you can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. As the as you see the rocks, as the gravity fissure kind of pulls everything together. No, can you have that on the other side? Oh, no. I liked it before. <laughs> as it kind of pulls these rocks, kind of pulling them into the direction of the line as well, Ooh. forming them at the back, kind of... <laughs> uh, but luckily, I rolled very badly on the damage. Uh, so... Uh, that was a legendary action um, after Lucius's. Now it is Callus's turn. Oh, God. Um, and then it will be uh, Sentries and then Quills. I think he is probably going to stay in Wrath Stance unless people yell at me otherwise. Um, because with his renewed oath of love, he has Radiant Strikes. Uh. Uh, and they can be ranged. Okay. So in protection of uh, Siaska and Valor, I think he will hold the line here. So he kind of like strike. he swings his sword and creates like these crescent no blades like out of energy and he sends them forward. Um, so he, uh, plus 18 to hit. Yeah, he's very good. Kept a bonus oh. from when he fought you guys. 19 oh, plus. So oh, close. if he rolls a 19, a, yeah. that is on a different attack. No, oh, Uncle Adam. <laughs> okay. Stand down. So when it's a melee attack, he does um, extra damage. He does 4d10 of damage. Mm-hmm. I believe it has other effects as well. Um, it does. Radiant strike. Um, but I will just do the damage. Yes, you know? please. Give me that damage. He rolls like a, I was about to say God King, and then I read the dice. <laughs> 7 plus 6, 13, 22, 23 damage. And then, for the first one, can he make a con save? I can. Uh, the other thing is, uh, the concept is going to succeed. There is no, uh, oh yeah, it's a different thing. Uh, what's the DC on it, actually? 21. Uh, ooh, you might fail it, actually. Ooh. I was thinking it was a concentration check, but it's not. Uh, 20. I rolled a 2 and got a 20. Hadar oh. is dazed ooh. until the end of <laughs> Starbane's next turn. Yep. Oh. Uh, dazed, I think it says down there what it does. No. Oh. <laughs> No. Uh, okay, so I will tell you, it's minus two to attacks and saving throws. Oh, nice. Okay. The other thing is, as he strikes him, another divine essence oh, just popped out. Fall out. Okay, and his um, second attack. That will be the fifth divine essence that has been created. Why well, you can One got consumed back, right? That was, that was the, the soul. No, that was the yeah. soul. Yeah, the gnome soul. Okay. Um, second, and then uh, second attack. His second attack is a uh, 29. 29 hits. <laughs> Um, and he uh, certainly doesn't roll like a god king this time. Ten. 4d10. Ten points of damage. Yeah, that two, one, one, perhaps two. the first one strikes heavily and then the second one only just clips at R as it passes over. Um, but uh, he's already dazed, so doesn't yeah. need to make that check again. All right, yeah, that's in good. that case, uh, if Callus is done, we go to sentry. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe so. Okay. I don't think he'd move. Like, he, I think he's in a good place. Yeah. Here. Would he like? To, would you like to give his movement to anybody else? Well, that's true. What is his movement? Uh, uh, Thirty feet. Thirty feet. May I have Who? a suggestion? Go on. Movement to you to grab him out. That's true. I am on half. I am prone right now. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. Give um, it to and there is, but there is a moat within five feet of me. Yeah. yeah. Um, where is, where is Sentry? Oh, there. I'm in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Floating around. If if I I don't want to play Callus and then give everything to me, My and guy, you don't get like I want to. You've got two yeah. So you get extra thirty hit, thirty feet of movement as as Callus is just like, well, move, move, and he's like kind of covering you with these radiant strikes. Um, <laughs> what was that? Scrabbling. All right, Sentry with my talons. I'm gonna jump out of the sky, superhero three point landing, and I'm big, so I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. Smash the ground. I won't deal you damage because I it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, no. how many hit points do you have? Uh, 32. All right, yeah, I will do damage. Although, although Four although points of bludgeoning good. damage as you okay. superhero landing. Quite heal for 10 because of my elder form. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're still elder form. Yeah. Um, 
I'm, land on the ground. I'm going to uh, level four cure wounds quill. So okay. That's 48 plus three. And that's a bonus action for bonus you because action. you're in elder form. Yeah. Oh my god. Huh? Maladin! 12, 17, oh. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 22 plus 3, so 25 healing back to Quill. 25 HP to Quill. God damn. Yum, yum, yum. Best healing I've ever received. Yummers. And then I'm going to make two attacks against Tedar, please. Okay. Just to cure wounds and then two attacks. Uh, just just 21. Plus 4. 21. Wait, just. Plus 4. Something's plus 4. So it oh! hits. Hit. Amazing. Right. Level 4 Divine Smite time. There I go. <laughs> oh, that's really <laughs> shit. There's a lot of twos in there. No, it's a couple good. Wow. Well, Two, yeah. four, ten moves. six. Yeah. Quill didn't do his plus ten damage on attacks for Callus. All right, I will note that down now. Thirteen, fourteen. I'm dancing with death, guys. Rolling. Well, it's got a lot going on. Um, Just rolling. He sucked out all my strategy. Forty-two plus seven, forty-nine for the first one. Forty-nine extra points of damage. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then roll again. You watch a Starbreaker smashes into Hadar. Don't forget, you have exhaustion, right? You have two levels. Two levels. So minus minus two, two to your attacks, yeah. So it's only plus two from Callus, but it's fine. We're going to continue on. Well, the first one we're still, still here. Yes, we're still here. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. Uh, 13 plus 11. Yeah, because it was 21. 20, yeah, 24 24 for the next one. 24 still hits, yep. Cool. Level 3, so minus 1d8 for this one. Three. Holy whack. Damage. Yes. The two strikes slamming into Hadar. The tip of the spear is almost caught by the teeth of the mouth in the chest, like kind of pressing it, preventing it from piercing into the darkness of his belly. No, 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 no. Do you think this is going to do anything? I cannot die. You are all going to perish. I will annihilate you and then I will bring a peaceful death to this world. This is meaningless. Your words aren't going to stop us from trying, though. Okay. Anything else, Sentry? Uh, that is my... Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good here. Right. Thank you. Quill. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have uh, an additional 40 feet of movement uh, because Alice. of the yes. frenzy or a thing. Um, but he likes to suck. Not Callus, Hadar. Maybe. But Callus, but Hadar. Um, <laughs> oh, what is happening? He likes to suck up spells. Yeah. He does. I'd really like to do. It is a contested role. I'd really like to do a, a mass heal. That would be pretty epic. He is dazed, though. Minus two to saves. Is it I, I would say minus two to mm. ability checks as well. Mm. And I believe you have another little item in your chamber. I do. It's a middle finger. <laughs> um, middle. middle claw. I'm going to cast Mass Heal. I want Watch. to restore everyone to mega level. Quill unfolds his wings, summoning this ancient magic of healing light. But as he does, Hadar opens up both mouths and tries to drink in the spell as I have saved my last legendary to use Consume Magic. I'm this gonna, is a contested roll. I'm turning it into a seven with he, Portent. And he is dazed. And he is means dazed. you need to roll a d20 and then add your Wisdom modifier of plus six. And he, uh, he's at something. He is at something. He's, at some, he's got a number. Would um, a level, it's a small one, but would a level three counter spell help this in no. any way? No. no. He's it's not small. casting a spell. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately not, Nova. You think of it, but there's no, there's nothing for you to interrupt. Right. He is just trying to suck the spell in. This is all Hadarian. This is all Quill, baby. Well, This comes down to what Tom rolls right now. I fucked it before. Woo! 14 plus 20. 
not plus 20, it is 20. It is 20. <laughs> because of the dazed and your portent of seven, I get a total of 12. Oh! Oh, oh thank God. Oh. You begin shit. to see the magic almost pooling towards his mouth. Yay! <laughs> you did it! Those of you who are within striking distance, or perhaps even those of you who are not, who have little ranged abilities or have ways to assist. I mean, if you have a cool way of, like, perhaps there is a way you are preventing Hadar from this. Maybe this is attacks from Sentry as you strike into it. Maybe this is just, like, little pieces of magic, Lucius, as you try and, you know, cause him to kind of reel back. Ayla. I'm just holding even... up the middle fingers at him. I was going to say, <laughs> Fuck you could you! throw them all without a charge. But yeah, Nova striking with Tian Gong, basically fending him away from this magic allowing the time for it to build and then whoosh, flood through all of you as I believe Quill has to do some maths. Well, you split out that 700. 700 healing to all oh my who God. require That's it. Well. So I guess um, we list off everyone's HPs and they just take as much as they need, one by one. Give it to everyone else and then. Well, there's an easy, I mean, yeah, I mean, it might be an easy way of doing it. Like, if you've got 700, you could give 100 to everybody. Yeah. Uh, and then you would have 200 left over. Uh, Two, uh, or you could give 100 cows, and then you'd have 100 left over. Four, five, six, I'd have 100 spare. Yeah, let's just do it that way. 100, yeah. 100 to everyone. And then you could do another, uh, then you could do 20 to each of you. Rather than to Callus. So you can give everyone 120. I'm pretty much at max. Okay. With my or give Aelon 20 more. put you at max? Uh, or you could give extra to Ayla, because oh, okay. Ayla's got more. Yeah, I don't Or Sentry, or Callus, or Nova. I'm yeah, already above my original. Well, I think it's like, just to help sp save some time, yeah, if you no. just give 100 to everybody. Well, look, I'm taking a 20, and that basically puts me to full. Um, so whoever mm -hmm. wants the other ones, fight amongst so you got 80 yourself. HP left. To the death. Um, I don't need it. Wait, what? Okay. I can take a 20. It's 80, after, 20, 20, you get 100, 20. Ayla. 100. And then, yep. 36 would bring me to max, so anything. Like... I may as well take it then. I'm well, nowhere near max. So there's 40 so. left, so... 40 remaining. You've taken so a 20 as well, yeah. right? You get another 20, no. You need to take 40, unless... 20, 20. Take, take, 20? take a 20, yeah. You take 20. All right. Yeah, cool. Ding. All right. Oh, so perfect. nothing extra for me. Don't forget to add 100 for Callus as well. Great. You took... You, you took another 20. 100 plus And then an extra 20. Plus 20, yeah. Sweet. Don't forget to give Callus 100 as well. Oh, yeah. Um... So, oh, you watch as this spreads through, and Hadar is almost like clawing at the energy, like, yeah, give it to me, as he struggles for it, and then just seems to go slack. He goes slack. Yeah. What'd you do, Quote? Still your turn. It's like, like a moment where he just is like, and then gives up, going like, after the spell energy. Gotta get rid of this, uh, these dooms. Uh, so, in standing, uh, I will. Uh, it, it, is it just a free thing to pick up yep. a moat? Okay. Move next to it and touch it, basically. I would like a moat. Well, more than just a moat. I get a piece of paper. As you touch the divine essence quill, it flows through you. You feel that doom. <clears throat> That's the burdens, the weight, the oppressive despair banished. And you feel yourself filled with light and strength and speed. What is? Because I've got my speed, all of Callus' speed, which is an extra 40, 30. Extra and 30. an extra 20. Yes. Nice. You have an extra 50 so, currently. Um, is that fast enough to just get out of his range without an opportunity attack? <laughs> no. It's not how it works. Do you say going fast would get out of his opportunity yeah. attack? No, it's not how it works. I, You're what, a roadrunner. Um, what, what is his range? Um, 15. Large. Large. Yes, yeah. Large. Uh, and I will... Um, uh, move behind Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A classic. It's worked before. Okay. Mother. Sentry, 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 Sentry. With that last Divine Essence, with that Divine Essence that you have gathered, that brings me to, I believe, a total of three Divine Essences and two Spirits that you have collected. Mm -hmm. oh. He's turned a pitch. Phase three? You watch as Hadar just lets his arms fall. <sighs> I tried. I tried, but it seems I am left with no choice. If you will not do me the honor of submitting to the inevitable, then I will take it for myself! And you watch as Hadar's form turns to red light. 
and <laughs> begins to flow up into the void above. And that tiny red star, that tiny red light, now balloons into an enormous red sun, hovering maybe a hundred feet in the air above you. And you watch as the ground, as the stone, as this realm is being ripped apart. I will destroy this prison, and as I do, I will feast on Siaska and Valor and break free of my bonds. Enough of this! You would destroy everything. You would break reality. Well, I will break you. I will save this universe. I am the one that will free us all. And you feel this pressure, this gravity, almost radiating out in waves forcing you down, almost pressing against you as you feel the crushing weight of Hadar's full power press against you. So we've got to fight a sun. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys do? I am going to drop you out of initiative. Oh. And you may oh, each shit. take okay. a turn. You're going to take turns, but you can choose who does what. Uh, um... The red sun. You see it's more than just a red sun. You can see that there are black tentacles writhing out of it, almost like the, the licks of flame from a real sun, but there are black tentacles. The whole thing, you can see mouths, maws, teeth, where there should not be teeth. I'd like you all to make perception checks. Okay. 16. Why now? Why now? <laughs> she can really see it. It's blinding, almost. It's like when you get that after 23. image. When you 23. Like the sun too long. 13. 13. Mm. It's burnt into your retinas. Uh, 35. 35 for Quill. And I'm assuming a natural 20 for Sentry. Yeah. <laughs> Sentry and Quill. As everyone else might maybe is shielding their eyes, you see Callus. Valor and Siaska, by the way, as soon as this happens, you see the intensity of the shield. Like, they are now desperately struggling to maintain the the structure that is allowing you to exist in this place. Like the barrier, you almost see the edges of this kind of dome, this golden light, and almost like glass breaking, cracks beginning to form. They are desperately trying to hit it. Callus just grabs them both, kind of pulls them behind him, like protectively, like looking up back behind him. Everyone else, Lucius, Nova, Ayla, like maybe you're temporarily blinded, but Sentry and Quill, you peer at this red sun, and amongst the writhing tentacles and the maw and this oppressive power, you see, and you would recognize it, Quill, that fissure. All that damage that you've been doing to Hadar, breaking those slivers of divine essence, the souls, has created a crack in the sun. And in that crack, beyond it, you see darkness, but there is a light at its center. Souls, not complete, digested, or partially destroyed, similar to the spirits that you saw, but hundreds, maybe thousands of them, locked into a prison made of teeth and bone and black sinew at the heart of the Red Star, still being digested, consumed. But you see now, both of you, the source of Hadar's strength, those souls still feeding upon them, I've got, I've got a, yeah, I've got one too. You want you, to do that? <laughs> what, are you do, what are you doing? She's well, got that face well, again. I'm going to throw it to you guys. You guys act as you wish to act, but you are going to have a full turn each, and then that's, you can't act until everyone else has finished. I will say, you sense this growing power. You have moments before Hadar shatters this realm, and even at that point, Valor and Siaska's magic probably won't protect you. This is building in strength, like a like a like a big bang, almost like a powerful explosion of entropic magic that will which will annihilate everything within here. So Do you want to maybe combine ideas. So I have this idea that if the fissure is in Hadar mm. and links to the sun, yeah. what if I create an arcane gate inside Hadar and you drive the spirits into it, the souls into it? I don't know what your plan was, but like... I was just going to shoot it. 
<laughs> we were going to double sum me. We were going to double sum me. Uh, we were going to double sum me. But that could, because damage brings the souls out, right? It but does. If it was directed them into a gate, I don't know if that... Oh, man. Oh, so like you, yeah. Are, are they in? They man. were in a. I saw them in a cage, so right? Cage, yeah, They're in a yeah, cage. And they it's like really broken like out. Not necessarily like opening a fissure as much but, as breaking the cage, I suppose. But yeah. would the arcane gate go in? What? No. You don't know. You don't know. You haven't even tried to cast them. I will say this: this is not just physical pressure that is yeah. emanating from the sun in waves. Like there is magic here. Like almost like it is oppressive. I will say this. You cannot, like, flying, like, you don't feel like you would even have the strength to fly up, or if you did, it would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, same with, like, movement. Like, imagine that you are in, like, 20 times gravity or 10 times gravity is crushing down on you. Um, so, but you don't know. Maybe imagine, Maybe you could arcing gate through it. You don't know. Hmm. If, you need someone maybe to break you the guys cage. Some, yeah, sunbeam it first, and, yeah, I don't know. We so as you know. guys are debating, Hadar's voice kind of booms out. You see now. You see now that my way is the only way. You must be annihilated. I must protect this universe from the damage that your kind, your limits. If you go beyond them, you will destroy, you will ruin everything. It is far better that everything ends in a peaceful, graceful blackness. And then you hear a voice. A young girl, tucked behind her father, protecting her against this magic, still concentrating on the immense amount of energy required to keep you safe. But you hear that rebellious young woman that was there from the first moment of your journey. You have no idea what our limits are. No idea who we can be. You talk like a tyrant, like you talk as though you're the hero of this story, but you're not. Heroes don't give up. They don't resign themselves to death and darkness. Heroes find a way to break through anything. That's who they are. That's what it means to be a champion. You're just a, you're just a mad old fool who cares about limits and destiny and we don't give a shit about any of that crap. We're the champions of Erois. You won't stop us. Language. I'm gonna brace. I'm gonna brace for a sunbeam. After hearing that, I'm bracing for a spell too. I want to break this shell and get some way of, of smashing open that yeah. cage. So the two of you combined. Vile. What level do they get back? Seventh. Not. Yeah, seventh. Nine, uh, seven. uh, sixth or seventh, uh, and an eighth, I believe. Yeah. Or yeah. fifth, sixth, and seventh, or something. Sure, I saw you write it down. Most importantly, you'll, you'll get a seventh couple back. <laughs> but I think you also still have your eight, I think. I got an eight. Yeah. So, well, let's start this off. Century, are you ready? Ready. All Save right. the universe? Save the universe. All right. I would like you both to roll. This is not going to be a saving throw at this point. I'd like you both to roll a d20 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. So, charisma bonus. So, plus five, I think, for Century. Just the bonus, not the saving throw. Plus three. Okay, so plus three for Sentry, plus six for Quill. Yeah. Uh, also. Plus spell. Uh, Sentry's no, is yeah, a sunbeam. Just, just the plus three. Just Sentry's is a sunbeam, but I'm, a, I'm doing chain lightning. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pull that storm out of me. Um. Ah! Oh! Natural twenty. <sighs> Oh, I thought it was bad. No, oh, I thought it was the other way. <laughs> 20. Oh my god. Natural 20 from Quill. What did Sentry get? 13. The sunbeam from Sentry from the core matrix flies up, feeling the strength of Root and the other guardians with it almost surging down. 
but you watch as it nears the pulse waves, almost forcing the energy of the sunbeam back with each but as it begins to get closer to the beam, you watch as the tentacles, these black rays from the sun, begin to try and rip the sunbeam apart, pushing it away from the core. What do you think you're doing, Guardian? You failed once, you will fail again. And then the lightning surges along the beam, blasting away some of the tentacles, but now they double in mouths, begin to draw the lightning in, forcing it away eking towards the prison, but not able to quite get there without enough strength. Sentry and Quill, you've both taken your turn. The Sunbeam and the Chain Lightning are making their way towards this prison, but they are not quite there. Hadar using all of its power to send them back. Can I, seeing Quill's lightning, step up to where he's casting it and just feel all the rage within (laughs) myself? And I... I know it's outside of the the range, but I want to use my last charge on the hammer to just hurl it at Hadar, and the lightning will join with Quills and go along with it. I would like you to roll a d20 plus your strength modifier, so I believe plus seven. Oh no, I only rolled a five. Twelve. The hammer. (laughs) flies down almost in the middle of the sunbeam, building that lightning. You see the hammer like knocks away some of these tentacles still kind of holding the beam back, almost like a spear being plunged into Hadar's heart, but the tentacles, the mouths are holding it back. The hammer knocks some of them away, but it too is almost being held back by this gravitational force kind of pressing it back. No for Lucius. Fire bear. <laughs> Fire bear. I don't have illusion anymore. But... Um, Lucius will conjure a big old eighth level chromatic orb. He's going to throw it with full acidity, but chromatic control it into full radiance. Yes. Could you roll a d20 plus your charisma bonus, which I believe is plus five? It's plus five, yeah. What? 16. 16 total. The radiant energy, just the orb now, almost trying to force back. But still not enough as it gets closer and closer. You can see that the energy is burning away the black tentacles, but it's not enough. And it does not look like this this spell, these combined power is gonna reach. Oh, I've got a really stupid idea, but it's so Nova. And well, I don't know that it's gonna work, so I threw myself what do you look to do? on the DM court. I want to use uh, my misty step from Farseeker to teleport into... It is about 100 feet up. Okay. I'll tell you this. I, I as you look, as you stand, and like you would have to like almost look up and you would probably draw Farseeker, right? Looking up towards this, because I have a feeling I know that you want to teleport yourself up there and then... I want to teleport myself in to Basically work from trying. the inside yeah. and almost channeled their magics towards you me. Your teleport is not going to get you far enough. But I have Dimension Door. Okay. The other thing is as you look like you are running to strike again, Callus, kind of keeping an arm in front of Siaska and Valor, will look over. Nova! And he will basically leverage his sword almost like a lever I can get you close. Step up. (sighs) For Gideon. He heaves you with all of his strength, throwing you against this gravitational force. You actually hear Callus' bones snap as he probably breaks his own arm, kind of throwing you against this force. And you, Nova, like you feel this energy as you are surged along, getting you close enough to teleport just in range, probably not to the prison itself, but where these tentacles in these mouths are holding back your friend's spells, there are several of them in place. Callus's throw and your teleport get you close enough to strike at each of those. I would like you to make a single, no, make three attack rolls. You don't need to roll the damage. This is just the attack rolls itself. Um, will I get any bonuses? Or I'm probably too Just far use your bonus. attack bonus for now. But I will say that, yeah, don't worry about anything else. Just right now, There's roll the some dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. 
Plus 13. 14 plus 13, 27. That's the first one. I'll let you roll all three and then I'll describe what happens. Okay. Oh, it's a uh, 16. Okay. Third one, please. 12 plus 13, uh, 25. The first one, you cleave with your blade. One tentacle breaks away, and as it does, the spell surges forward a little bit further. The second one, you try and strike, but it doesn't quite cut through. And then the third one, I'll give you a choice. You can throw the blade, and it will catch the last tentacle, which is wrapping around, but you will lose the sword. What's the other choice? The other choice is, it falls to fate and you may be able to strike this other one, but you don't know. I throw the blade. Digs in, shattering the black mist tentacle into pieces and now unable to be stopped. The chain lightning, the sunbeam, the chromatic orb, Ayla's own hammer flies past you, giving it that second as you are caught in Void Nova. Well. I can teleport to teleport Tengar. Back. You just hear in your voice, come, as you teleport back to your allies, as you watch as this comet of lightning and light enters the fissure. You got the attack there. But now I would like each of you to roll a d20 to see if you can break the prison with it. Oh, okay. No modifiers. Just a straight D20, and this includes Callus and Nova Vija, and I'm going to roll for Callus. Good luck, everybody. Mm-hmm. I just want to go. We're looking for high notes. Uh, seven. Okay. Seven. 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 Over half of you rolled above a 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lightning strikes and you see pieces of bone begin to break. The radiant energy burns away the black sinew and then there is a flash of light. <laughs> Almost a sucking in of air as silvery light erupts from the fissure as the prison shatters and hun- and hundreds, thousands of these divine essences burst forward like a vortex, like a storm, surging out, coalescing down the path that you have created, surging through all of you as you are almost buffeted by these flying essences and spirits that completely engulf your body. All of you, as these pass through you, feel a strange sensation. You feel a connection with something, but it drains you rapidly of strength and energy. Any items you currently have lose all charges. Your spell slots are gone, and all of you gain five levels of exhaustion. Oh, Oh, boy. But you watch in your exhausted, weakened state as the red sun begins to collapse in on itself. (laughs) No! You do not know what you've done! The place you are in begins to break down. Without Hadar's power to seemingly maintain it, you begin to see rips and tears to the place beyond Terminus Keep, a place that you, Lucius, have glimpsed. And there are things sleeping. Valor and Siaska. We need to leave now! And they begin conjuring the portal. The far edge of where the platforms have formed almost this kind of corridor of stone. Valor begins to construct a portal. They begin running forward towards it. Valor and Siaska begin running. Uh, the rest of you see a red hand pull itself up onto the platform as an incredibly weakened, injured Hadar 
calls itself and is not destroyed. But you can see now its ragged form, half missing parts of itself, but one giant claw, its half mouth. You will not escape, must feed. As it begins crawling towards you. <laughs> what do you guys do? Fucking corridor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lucius is flying, right? Already at the moment. Yeah, I would say that any spell okay, that you had so previously, because you were forced to the ground by that gravitational waves, imagine that you are basically uh, in the kind of place you all, if you want a visual representation of where you are, everybody is kind of tucked here. Siaska and Bala already making their sort of way up. The back. Mm. And we have to run across quite a lot of platforms. It does seem to be that way. Oh, um, is that features as well? Are they drained? No. What does the, so this? We're using different exhaustions so just for. It's minus five to minus any five. attacks, minus five to spell save DCs, minus five to ability checks. Okay. You see this place, and it is, yeah, you can see that Valor and, and Siaska are trying to create a portal, but are seemingly unable to create it where they are. They are having to kind of make their way to the edges of this realm. Uh, uh, Siaska will actually pause and let and say, Valor, go, open the way. And then she is like in between, keeping the, the, the dome, the shield that's protecting you from the, the far realm. Um, and it's like, champions, run, like kind of ushering you along to, to escape. What do you guys do? So the gate, gateway shield is completely drained, isn't it? Every item, every, every spell slot. You are, you feel as if that, as that storm of divine light and essence passed through you, it, it drained you. It's like something in you kind of drained all the energy out of you and any items that you carry, it almost like pulled their magic from them. I, mean, I guess we just have to run, I, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, that's towards, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, you guys will start running. Yeah. yeah um, this is hesitant. Okay. But yeah, I'm also like looking at this so thing. Lucius will, will say... So everybody but Lucius is like, starts making the run towards the escape, but you hesitate. Yeah. As you do, like the creature is like pulling itself towards you along the ground and it begins picking up speed, Lucius. I feed hunger. You can't come back. Yeah, it goes to reach out for you. I won't allow it. Um. I'm gonna blast it. I'm just gonna use every spell slot I've got and just you walk have no towards. Spell, you have no spell slots. No spell slots. Drained yeah, all drink spell slots. Nothing. And drink the vial. I would say the potion would still maintain. It was separate to your body. You feel it kind of engulf you, and you feel that surge of power. Lucius's eyes, and you've seen this before, go completely chromatic. The prisms. I know you haven't activated this ability, but it activates. Oh. Chromatic, prismatic, prismatic mastery, mastery activates. His eyes become these prisms of light, and you <laughs> come back, and you are holding back this thing. It will not gain on the rest of your party okay. as you use your spell slots. But oh. you are currently vulnerable. For now. Right now, it's, it can't attack you, but it's being held back at least a turn. The rest of you all make uh, at least some progress towards the mm. platform. I'd say that you managed to cross two of the platforms if you wish. Uh, that leaves two more. I think in the panic of the <coughs> run, I wouldn't be, like Lucius, I guess is behind me, right? Mm -hmm. like I, I, yeah, Lucius remains really behind. Seen it. Um, um, I will stop when I realize Lucius isn't with us. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess I'll, I'll Eldritch Blast. And, and seeing what Lucius is doing, like it's probably not gonna do much, but I can't leave Lucius, so. So you just join in with Lucius, the two of you keeping this remnant of Hadar back as it's kind of bleh, bleh, and it's still crawling, but now slowed as it's kind of making its way towards you. Can I, seeing Lucius doing that, can I, because I know that it's him that's, it's his power that's holding him back. Yeah, it's like Lucius has managed to yeah. somehow gain magic and is like using like powerful spells, like Cone of Cold and can all I... of these power, like prismatic spray and stuff to like hold this thing back. And like, you can see that no amount of damage is gonna kill Hadar. Mm -hmm. Like he is a god, he can't be destroyed, yeah. but you can hold him back through pain and, and, and power. Can I carry Lucius and say, keep doing it 
and carry him towards the exit as so almost like pick him up and let's yeah. like carry so, him back so that he's moving but he's not having to stand still but he can still focus sure. like so i i want to physically carry him for yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so if you can start if lucius well, it's up to lucius because it is, is that uh, okay yeah it's, it's, um, if, it's, if he resists that's the main he's thing. turning into a blind rage at this point like, ah, i will not give in to the fear that and ayla knows that he's been like mm -hmm. this and he's just like no <laughs> Uh, as you begin to move, Callus waits with Siaska, kind of ushering you forward. Um, as you reach that point, the group of you, your power is now beginning to wane. Those few spell slots gone, the Eldritch Blast not enough. Uh, as you reach that last point, the creature of Hadar, unless Sentry or Quill, you guys want to do anything in particular, unless you guys are just moving forward. I'll just, I'll just, I'll move with Nova and Lucius and Ayla and have my shield raised, ready to provide protection in case. Yeah. So Hadar. you're kind of like forming this like phalanx, basically, yeah, yeah. like all of you together, maybe with Quill slightly ahead as the rest of you are kind of like moving down. Um, yeah, you watch as the creature reaches out and it goes to reach for Lucius. And then you just see Callus's blade kind of chop down one of the fingers, kind of like forcing him back. And he's like ushering Siaska, kind of doing the same thing. He's like, back! And he's now like with the sword trying to fend them off. And you can see he's exhausted, his armor's all broken. But he's like, go! Go! Just striking as he can, joining in with like the Eldritch Blasts and whatever power is left of cantrips and things like that. Um, you guys make it to about the third platform. I'll summon Tiangong at this point. Sure. Um, but also, I mean, DM's discretion as to action economy, but I can create packed weapon. <laughs> so I can actually summon a weapon to my hand. Yeah. Um, Fast for seeker. The first time in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it is a full action to do it, but yes, you can do it and begin Bonus arming yourself. Like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and like you and Tian Gong now assisting, you kind of create this phalanx, but you can see that everything is breaking around you. I need all of you guys to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, okay. And that's with exhaustion with levels as well. Mine, uh, yeah. It doesn't apply to saving throws. True. Uh, exhaustion. Oh, okay. no. You'll get plus three. Plus three. Oh shit. What? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use Indomitable and roll again. Mm -hmm. Okay. 19. Would that count as danger sense? Yes, I'd say so. Yeah. 16. Okay. 17. Uh, 20 or lower is going to be a failure, by the way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, anybody who fails, you're going to take immediately 30 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Anybody who succeeds, you take no damage. Uh, as things like the ground breaks away from under you, and as it does, like your foot is almost caught by these tendrils of like necrotic energy that's threatening to pull you down. Your allies have to like momentarily help pull you up. This costs you time. Hadar gains closer and closer. Now, really, the being held back, but not by much. Without those spell slots, you don't have the strength to necessarily hold him at bay. Uh, I'm going to make an attack. Roll. Misses. But it swipes and kind of carves through the stone. The claws tinge with the necrotic power, threatening to like slash into all of you. Um, and you can tell as well that this would not just do damage, you would probably gain exhaustion if this hits you, draining you of life and essence. But you're at the third island. You have but a few short steps to make it. Valor has now opened the doorway. Come on, come on, hurrying you through. To get there requires a leap up onto the highest platform. I need everyone to make an athletics check with the exception of Quill, who can fly, naturally. Thank you. Tiangong. I'm guessing it's higher than... I, I think... You have no spell slots, remember? No, but Tiangong can manifest up well, there. That's true. Well. I'd say in that case, Nova can also do it without making the check. But for those of you who don't do have it. any flight or teleportation... Oh, my God. 27. That's a nat 20. 27. That's a nat 20. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I didn't know what that symbol was. Nice. <laughs> I, I think if there's a break in people turning around to jump, to, uh, stopping them from fending, because I'm able to fly freely, yep. I would uh, channel divinity mm -hmm. to uh, try and um, I present my book and, uh, <laughs> yeah, just um, do what channel divinity do. Which is? He has to make a wisdom saving throw, I suppose. Um, I'm going to give him disadvantage, because okay. he is also interested. <laughs> Natural one. Oh, oh, really now? Uh, I mean, ordinarily, it would be turned for a minute, right? But it's not it's, fully undead as well, but yeah. I would say this is enough that Quill's book begins to glow brighter than it ever has before. Power unfamiliar. 
off the light. No! That light divine! I need it! Give it to me! Please! It just begins desperately calling out, hungering for this light, and is holding it back. The rest of you, Sentry, what did you get on your athletics? 15. Moment? 15 is enough, just barely, um, as you pull you up. You all pull up onto this final platform, and as you begin to rush for it, a wave of darkness crosses over in front of the portal. And you see Hadar, blinded against the light of Quill's turn, is conjuring some sort of barrier, a wall across it. What do you guys do? And it's now again resuming its crawl. Can I physically? Yeah, try go to for smash it. it. Yeah, yeah. So this would be uh, athletics, but with minus five. Athletics with minus five. Yes. But I have advantage because I'm raging. You do. Please. Oh, nineteen plus thirteen minus five. So plus uh, eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> You break a hole big enough, maybe for you to squeeze through, Ayla, maybe for, just enough for like a, 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 a medium sized creature to squeeze through, but it's going to be slow getting everyone through it. But it's enough. You create this hole and this barrier, and you can feel the necrotic essence kind of pulling over you. In fact, I'm going to give you another level of exhaustion as you have to make contact with it. The energy kind of flows over you, the black tendrils coating your skin, draining you away. Um, We're starving it. Callus, he is behind you all. He's got yeah, like Siaska, like he's kind of with the pack, basically so moving. He's near the wall. Uh, he's kind of like like you guys. He's like at the forefront, probably like fending off Hadar as best you can. Hadar at this point is pulling itself up onto that final platform, looming like a giant, uh, pulling itself up onto the rock, reaching out. Quill's light having now slightly faded from the duration in and just like beginning to crawl towards it. As you you begin to feel that exhaustion take you, take another level of exhaustion, sure. Quill. Can I nature's wrath him? You can do whatever you like. Um, so he needs to make a strength or dex saving throw. He's got I'll disadvantage. Give him, I'll absolutely give him disadvantage. Or natural 20 and a 10, but this is a wisdom. 17. I will say that he fails. Okay, so he's restrained. So you watch as you conjure. There is no plant life here, Sentry, but you create some through light, almost these vines and brambles of golden light like the Matrix form around the edges of the rock, holding Hadar in place as it stretches out now. <laughs> Reaching Stay for there. it. Gain a level of exhaustion there for yep. me, please. So, you have a gap big enough to squeeze through. Uh, Callus will call out, Valor, first you must maintain the portal from the other side. You are our escape, go. Father, no, just... <sighs> She's trying to resist, but like, you know, Siaska's like, Valor, go! I will hold it from the inside. Valor does as she's told. Passing through, squeezing through. Ayla, you're almost having to hold open this right, like okay. force field as like she squeezes through onto the other side, maintaining the portal there. Valor is currently through. Go! Go! Yeah. <laughs> All of you are like, okay. Leave! I'm holding this open! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Callus will, he's like, I will keep Hadar at bay. If it breaks free of sentry spell, I will keep it at bay. And he's like, Ksh, fending it off. Why do you always have to be the hero, Starbane? I don't. I intend to live, Lucius. Ksh, but I'm buying you time. You're not going to do it like that, are you? And uh, he'll step up next to him and use all his cantrips, blasting away. He just turns, just nods. Warriors to the end. Puts on the mask. The two of you, back to back, spells blasting, firing at any hands that break free of, of Sentry's spell. Callus kind of fending him off, using the sword to ward him away from the... the By board. the way, I'm sorry I told you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear a, I deserved it. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else? Oh, Sentry will... Encourage Quill to go through. Quill, go! I don't want to. Get <laughs> out! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say Ayla takes another level of exhaustion. Get out now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on eight levels, dude. Get out! Uh, Seriously. I am. I will die soon. I am getting. It's true, if you get to ten. If I get to ten, I'm, yeah. I'm out. I don't want to be so the first to. I'll go. Get out! <laughs> right. Sentry will follow Quill out. Okay, so the two of you go. Push you do notice yeah. as go, well. Go, go, go! <laughs> as the. Uh, as the. There's the portal is being held open by Ayla, that swirling vortex of those divine spirits 
they had nowhere to go. They kind of flew up into the void, but now they are coalescing and they are surging towards this gap that leads out, oh, nice. uh, almost looking for an escape from this realm. Nice. Um, Sentry and uh, Quill, you guys pull yourselves free. You both gain a level of exhaustion, by the way, moving through this wall. Oh my god, I literally will die. I don't know, maybe. Uh, you see on the <laughs> other side, Valor is holding open this and she is desperately concentrating, but you two see another sight on the other side. You emerge back on Entropis. The whole planet is filled with this crackling red storm. You see that the temple, you cannot see too far beyond the temple itself, for there is this gray dust cloud, like this gray and red mist that completely surrounds the planet, and the whole planet is shaking. You see great fissures and cracks as Entropis itself is breaking apart from the destructive power of Hadar's end. Nova, Lucius, Ayla, and Siaska. Uh, Callus will see what state Ayla is in, and he'll say, Lucius, hold him! Uh, and he will move up. Yeah, I can't do it anymore. Ayla, go, I have this! <sighs> Holding it back. I'll, I'll go. Yep. I, I'm too... Yeah, I'm you just kind of like stumble through, oh, kind of you know, on the on the edge of exhaustion as you kind of push through. And now Callus is holding it back. You see the black tendrils eroding the armor, breaking away his broken arm. Like you can see him wincing in pain. Lucius, you are there, still there, <laughs> holding yeah, it back. But Hadar somebody. is at this point with Sentry not there to blame him. He is nearly on you. Oh shit! He swipes. Shadow Master. Tiangong leaps in front of it, absorbing the hit. Uh, this is your problem, Hadar. You don't have friends. I do. Their, their friends do not matter. Only power. You will. Your limits. I blast him before he finishes. Shut up. <laughs> right, then I'm backing up. Back up. Lucius, Siaska. I'm not leaving without you. I know you're not, so don't be silly. And uh, we'll go through together. Right. So the two of you go, leaving just Siaska and Callus. None of you see what happens. Can we not see through the portal? No. A moment, a heartbeat. You fear for a second that Callus and Siaska perhaps make some foolish, rash decision. But then, the last second, a white dress flowing, the nebulous hair spilling behind her, Callus kind of leaning on the goddess, the two of them sort of embrace together, fall through the portal. Siaska looks up. Valor, seal it now! You see Valor just like, enjoy your cell, asshole! <laughs> yes. But you do not emerge into safety. Entropis is breaking all around you. Dust. Red and grey completely fills your vision. Exhaustion running through your body. What do we do? Where do we go? I don't know. There's no sign of the Tassadar. There are no sign of your allies. The planet begins to crack and break as you hear the earth itself sunder, red light spilling up from its core. Hadar's last gasp. At least we stopped him, hey? Yeah. He's trapped. Yeah. I mean, we, we won, right? We, we, we definitely won, right? We accomplished what we set out to do. He's imprisoned again. Us. He's weakened and sealed. It is enough. Siasco just look, but do not fret. She turns through the dust cloud. And of course, Quill is the first to see it. A glint. A tiny bit of light reflected, as if hitting a shard of glass. Its jagged shape, like black crystal. As sails take form. <clears throat> Sweeping in, the storm chaser, battered, broken. The hull half ripped apart, the lower sections destroyed. You can see that it has suffered badly. But aboard, not just your crew, but your allies as well, hold it together. Maximilian desperately forging steel rebars and plates, holding the deck together, hope using vines, kind of pulling parts of the ship. 
holding them together. The engines completely unfunctional, but Danica <laughs> scorching flame into the elemental engines to keep it flying. Tassadar, Azaria, maintaining the shields, the environmental protection of barriers. Araya. Sorry we're late, Captain. Had a few problems getting off an exploding planet. As the storm chaser pulls in, your crew, Kamara, the wolf pack, Howard, pull you up onto the deck, pulling you onto the ship as it makes its way into astral space. Entropis breaking apart below you. You watch from the deck of the Storm Chaser as Entropis breaks apart in red light and is pulled into itself, leaving behind a black void but many stars still remaining. There are no signs of the Hadarspawn dead or gone, a broken fleet, many lives lost, but a victory won. It takes a few hours for your strength, your energy to return, that exhaustion leaving you. But when it does, each of you feels something else in its place power that you did not know was there. And as the crew ready themselves, desperately repairing the storm chaser, Siaska approaches you. My children, before we return to Erois, there is something we must discuss. You have done an incredible thing. Had Callus and I attempted what we did long ago, we would have failed. Perhaps I would have become a Hadar, or we simply would have been consumed. In freeing the essences and the souls of those divine, when they passed through you, they robbed you of energy, but they left something in its place. And she looks at each of you, a divine spark. This leaves you with a choice. You can, you can nurture this spark, learn to use it, embrace it, and in doing so, you will become a divine, a new generation of gods and goddesses to rule over this universe with me and Vala. Or, you can free the spark and remain mortal to live and die as you choose. This is your choice, one that you must consider. Each of you has the opportunity to become a god, but it is a choice. The storm of divine essences and souls that pass through you, escaping Hadar's prison, though diminished, have left behind a divine spark. It will take days for you to return to Aroes. What do you do? Oh my god. That is the hardest decision. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Oh. Can we have like a couple of months to get back to you on that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But we can take a five minute break. Yeah, <laughs> you want to do that? I think we might have to. Uh, I'll make a decision. If you need it. If you don't, well, I'm happy for you to just I think continue I, on. I, I, I think I have a decision. Okay. Um, yeah, me too. All right, well, that sounds like a good place to start. Now remember this, you know, you have days to think about this. Mm. Traveling back from Entropis at the edge think of the, everything. A lot of it would be, did we really do it for a few days? Yeah. And like, is it really over? It's recovery as well, like it takes time. Yeah. And then just thinking every night, 
on that divine spark, feeling it inside. And I would say that only you five, Valor and Siaska, and Callus, excuse me, and Callus would know. They don't tell anyone else. You are approached, you find that your friends that you had left to defend you all survived. Every single ally you took, thanks to your decisions and your actions and preparations, survived. The fleets of the Valkyrian Empire, though diminished, were victorious. The Astoria welcomes the Storm Chaser back, and you likely make the journey back on the Astoria. The Storm Chaser barely able to get you to the Astoria from Entropis, but it gets you there. Um, Lucius will speak to the pack. Yeah. Maybe have a night in the joyful ruckus of it all. I think um, that is more than likely. But perhaps there's a there's a kind of there's a brief moment of celebration, but the, cel- the true celebration everyone wants to wait until they are back on a roller. Shh, everyone, shush, shush. Just a minute, Wolfpack. I've got a secret. Shh. Don't tell anyone, okay? I've Never got a divine seen. spark in me, and I'm trying to decide whether I should be a god or not. Don't tell anyone, though. I'm uh, stood on a table. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the wolf pack is like they—they're just like they—they like, they start. Oh, they start cheering like God, Lucius, God, Captain, God, Shush. Captain. Stop it! What? Yeah, but like, what's that mean? I think you should do it, Captain. Then you can give us all the things that we want. I'll pray to you. It's not quite. You're the best. <laughs> Not quite how it works, I don't think. <laughs> Why not? I pray. We pray to the other gods. Do you get stuff from them? My mum told me that I did. Right. She said when good things happened, and I was a good wolf, that was because the gods were rewarding me. But she was right. Absolutely. Let's see. So I'll be a good wolf for you, and then you give me good things. Okay, noted. Thank you. That's going to help me make my decision. God, Lucius. God, Captain. God, Lucius. God, Captain. God, Lucius! <laughs> I accidentally hit the comm system, the whole shit. God, Lucius! Well, this is probably on the Astoria, so yeah, there's not, right. not much of a system. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, you enjoy the ruckus evening. Kamara, like, you get the you get the impression that the wolf pack don't really understand yeah. what you're telling them. They think that it's just a joke or, like, a, like they think that you've gone mad after fighting Hadar. I'm also hammered. But uh, Kamara would probably come up to you in a more sober moment. Whatever you decide. We'll always need a captain. But your duties are fulfilled. You've gone to literally the ends of the universe with us. Captain, you still don't really understand, do you? It's never over for us. This is our life. This has been a great adventure, sure. Just looks out. But now, we used to think that the sky on Erois was our limits. Now look. We've got a bigger horizon than we could ever ask for. So many adventures still to find. Still need a ship. Still need a captain. Doesn't matter where it whether it's up there or down here. Just like nods, patch you on the shoulder. Thank you, Kamara. Makes her way. Is there also, anything? for the crew, it was never about the money. Check the quartermaster logs. I haven't paid them in like a year. <laughs> oh, no, they've just been taking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been paid an apple crumble. So, is there anything anybody else? Any checking in with any of the NPCs or any decisions that. Girlfriend. Thalia injured. She was injured in the crash. Uh, her leg, she's been sort of propped up. Uh, you go and find her. You would probably find her with Greylano uh, arguing, uh, Thalia insisting that she's fine and can walk now, and uh, you probably find her half stumbling, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, and then sort of like shuffling, limping away, and you just see Greylano shake her head, and then she sees you. Thalia is typically a very cool customer, doesn't let a lot of things show. Soon as she sees you alive, she breaks into tears, rushes over, throws her arms around you. Why are you crying? You don't cry. I've never seen you cry. I'm not crying. There's dust on this ship. I... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up. Hey, good news. 
doesn't have to be a year. Yeah. Don't don't ruin this. And then she just kisses you. <laughs> and just kind of holds you for a long time. Mm. Like in that desperate, was not expecting you to survive. I don't think Nova was expecting yeah. to survive. Yeah, that's yeah, it's just this quiet no words. moment. No, there I think no that words. that's the thing is there would just be these 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 happy sobs mm. of relief. Yeah. And I think no, just hold no your hand. Well. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And just I think maybe sink to your knees yeah. in the middle of this corridor, just kind of holding on to each other. And I think it's just the rush of everything hitting her from the fight, from everything we saw, this whole everything. Mm -hmm. I think it would just all come out at that moment. Yeah. Makes sense. You don't have to have moments with the NPCs, by the way. I'm just throwing it to anybody who wants anything to happen. Much as I'd love. This is to now. Do. This is really your moment now. I'm. I'm kind of done. Much as I'd love to speak to Howard and hear his voice again. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm. Quill's really racking his brain about this one. Sure. Can't come to a reasonable solution just yet. Yeah. Um, okay. So hold, please. Okay. Hold music. Is there anything Sentry would like to do, or anyone she wants to speak to, or...? I think Sentry would be walking sort of along the top deck of the Astoria, sort of taking in what Solvin used to be. Yeah. Um, I think... You'd probably see, because there's still the Guardian army here, and they are now sort of occupied, they're operating the Astoria main parts. You see many Guardians walking amongst the other races, people from the Valkyrian Empire even. It seems that there are even Valkyrian soldiers here on the Astoria, and you see the Guardians in the Empire working together, keeping the ship running, men tending to those who are injured, performing light duties, guard. It's a very different Solvin to the one you remember. I think Sentry would just be helping, tending to whoever she can, yeah. helping fix any guardians, maybe even bringing some back yeah. that might have fallen. Yeah. yeah, you go up to the bodies, touch the Matrix. When you take a guardian soul into the Matrix now, since Siaska told you, there is a different feeling. You see the potential. The Matrix the Prime Matrix is a artifact of immense power, a Genesis relic. But it was created to do a certain role and job. Root was never a god. They were a guardian empowered by the Matrix in the same way that you have been. You sense that there is, there may be the potential to do more with the Matrix, and if you were to become divine, you could give the Guardians ways to create life themselves. Take them from these constructs that use the Matrix as a way to preserve themselves, but have no way of reproducing. You could probably grant that to them. Yeah, I think Sentry would realize that in just try and make up her mind. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's a big decision. Yeah. With that, you journey back to Aroes. The world, the universe, is not without its threats. There are still elements of the universe that prey on chaos and greed, even without Hadar will always be threats. Callus summons you all. Champions. We are nearing the point where we are nearing Gideon Prime. You still have a ways to go back to Erois. But I must return. I intend to step down as Emperor of the Valkyrian Empire. I always wished to, when the threat of Adar was ended. I would like to install a democracy, but I know that there are elements of my empire that could abuse such a position. I do not know what my next steps will be. 
I wish to see Valor rule, but I think now her divine calling is a greater task. I will find those who I trust, install them, and trust them to create an empire which will deliver the promise, the oath I made, a world without heroes. This will not be goodbye, I imagine. But I wish to thank you. Thank you for waking me from a slumber I did not know I had entered. It does not forgive many of the awful things that I have been a part of. I will spend the rest of my days righting those wrongs as best I can. But thank you for giving me a chance to see this done right, to accomplish this destiny, to surpass the limits I placed upon myself. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. <sighs> well, we did get a few good punches in, so I suppose Indeed we'll call it did. quits. Indeed I, you did. I got one. You did. Good luck. I know you have a great decision to make. If you have a decision to make about people who might be good in this role, Max has been beside Valor this entire time. It would be a lot worse that you could do than promote him. Maximilian is a true knight. I do not think he would relish a position such as Emperor, but perhaps someone who can help usher in a new future for the Empire. Thank you. I think that that is a wise decision. But Quill will miss him though, so there's that. As I said, I feel that the path of Aroas' future has been forever changed. Aroas is no longer alone, separated. The Empire is not Aroas' enemy. We would welcome you, not as a part of the Empire, but as an ally. This is not goodbye. Enjoy your rest. You have earned it. And he will come up. Firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> and then he will leave make his way out. Come on, Stubbs. Bring it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think not, Lucius. This... I don't think you get a choice when I'm running. Okay. <laughs> he, will, he will allow you to hug him. It's You're easier not if you anymore. just accept this. He will simply stand there allowing you to hug him yes. and maybe do that, like, pat, pat, pat. Nice and awkward, isn't it? It is exceptionally awkward. Yes, let that external shell diminish. <laughs> Lean into it. Let it go. Be a good father, please. He will reach up and place both of his hands and begin to squeeze <laughs> until you get to the point where it's like... <laughs> is Are this... you trying to kill me? <laughs> oh. Perhaps I misunderstood what the intention of this was. See you soon. Goodbye, Lucius. Virin, Elowin, Elanasta. You hear that? You got it? Yeah. Got it. Thank you, Callus. Send Paul Prime. And we will leave. Stoic and Tactan, but there is perhaps, as Lucius is hugging him, a hint of a smile. Nice. As he leaves, the Tassadar, the Valkyrian fleet make their way, but the Astoria returns to Aroas. Valor and Siaska still with you. The Astoria lands, settling down in the Hawkstorn archipelago. At Siaska's request, there is little need for the Halls of Resplendence now. It feels fitting that perhaps the Astoria can become a new home.
days can pass, weeks can pass. Mm. You guys tell me yeah. what happens next. I have done all I can at this point. Oh boy. I, I'm, I'm, oh God, I'm just. I mean, you really, said you had your decision. I'm, word, well. You're flipping, you're I'm, flopping. I am, without words, I am stunned. Um, Quill, what are you thinking? Come oh, on, Quilliam. We're having a meeting now, aren't we? Yep, we're having a meeting. Okay. None of us know what the hell to do, so we're gonna have a meeting. Thoughts? Uh, did it have to be my captain's quarters? Could yes, absolutely. Right. I mean, we had all our other meetings here. Yeah, yeah this is the place. Yeah. This is where yeah. True. All right. We made all our plans here. Um, uh, I've made a lot of lists, and um, you just see Nova's got I am not handfuls of manuscripts. I, just, I still need to buy a new table. Yeah. Yeah, we can get not that replaced. Really. But is this pros and cons? Is this what you've listed here? Uh, pros, cons, statistics, probabilities. Okay. Okay. Um, mm. I mean... The only observations I will make is that we saw the titans of Aroes. And we saw them at their greatest. And we saw them at their lowest. And we saw the destructive power they had on the world. But I will say... We all have a connection. And perhaps, if it ever got to that point again, we would be able to fight through it and not give in to despair like the Titans did. Because we have each other. It's also slightly different in that, you know, they were all Stiaska's children and we are just five absolute random weirdos who seem to have been dragged to the ends of the earth mm -hmm. and beyond defeated hadar temporarily but if he comes back we know we can do it i don't really have much to do anymore i never have <laughs> so if i can do something good in just being on standby you know that seems useful for what it's worth, Quill, I think you would be an inspirational divine. So would you, Sentry. Oh, thank you. All of you. Yeah. I think all of you have qualities becoming of gods. I might need to swear a bit less. Mm. I feel like if you are a divine, you can set your own rules, really. Mm. Good See? point. I mean, like that. Zephyr mm. quite, uh, saw quite a bit, actually. Yeah. So, I don't think it matters. Vala saw quite a bit, but I think that's because we... We need to have a chat about that. That might have been that. my fault, mm. Is that, was that us? I mm. think that I, was us. Yeah. I will... That was pretty naughty. <laughs> I will oh, take I like responsibility it. for that. Okay. I feel like yeah. it well, then it's on you bed. to fix that, because that kind of language... Mm, I kind of don't want to fix it, though. Yeah. Well, it's her choice, I suppose. She does bring it out only at really good moments. That's which true. I was, that really, was cool. really It was yeah. great. Yeah, no. Yeah. Maybe I should start swearing more. No. Should. No, Try it. Well, <laughs> no. Well, I, I, I wouldn't love say. love desperate attempt to, like, not. <laughs> I want this to go on for another three episodes. Yeah, yeah should we just the... not end? Um, I, I would say. Stream. Just never make a decision. Yeah. Ayla, you, without this power, you wouldn't have nothing to do. I mean, we didn't have this power. However long ago it was when we crashed, no. we still had lives and goals and dreams and aspirations, all of which we granted were ripped away from us on this adventure, but ones that we could achieve still without that power. That is a brilliant point, Quill. My goal at the beginning of all of this was when I found that first shard outside of Ortensar and I first met Tiangong, I knew I knew that I wanted to restore Tiangong, to bring them together, and we did that. And I didn't, I wasn't a divine to do that. We have done a incredible things without a divine spark. At this point, I know it's a tough decision, but I would very much like to hear your answers so we can wrap this out. Mm -hmm. Roll someone roll a dice. <laughs> Best to go first. <laughs> yeah, should we, should we roll? Highest number goes first. Roll to see. Sure. Oh, this is Highest number goes first. Oh, 
she's done that on purpose. Three, oh, baby. Shit. Yes. Five. Nineteen. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's me now. I will no, say you know. that I am. I am happy to go first in this. Oh, cool. thing. Yeah, I, would, okay. I think right. it, I would much rather have it volunteered <laughs> because I would say to everyone on the back of living a life that that flying through the storm, getting hit by that lightning, being found by sentry and this adventure that we've been on, it has taken away a normal life. Um, a life where I wouldn't have died twice, apparently. I thought it was once, but apparently it was twice. I didn't see it, I don't think it happened. Nearly three times. Nearly three times. Multiple, many, many, many times. I don't think I want it. I don't think I want the power. I don't... I, I don't want to replace Hesper as the god of knowledge. I don't want to live eternal and and be something for people to fall back on if things get too bad. It's we want a world without heroes, and I think that extends to a world without gods too. If if that's the world we want, then gods are no longer needed. Sounds like Quaz made up his mind. I am not taking the power. Mm. We'll wait, but that sounds like that's where Quill's decision is leading him. Does anybody else want to go next? Band-Aid has been ripped off. <laughs> yeah, now it's everyone else's turn. I have a lot to do in terms of responsibility, life, but I had a life and that was taken away from me. But then I met all of you and found a new one. I think that life was good enough. I think... I feel like somebody else could take the mantle. Such is the life of a prime. Primes aren't eternal. Primes get passed from one guardian to the next and I think that that's what makes life beautiful. It's, it's temporary. There are people that I love that don't have the power that I have and I'm gonna to have to watch them leave me. I don't think I could do that again. Yeah. I don't think I want it either. So Sentry and Quill both like to let the power go. Next three. <laughs> what paper scissors? <laughs> this, is, this is like the trying to leave the <laughs> leave the chamber again. Like you? you? No, you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest with you all. I told the wolf pack I had a divine spark, and they were all chanting "God Lucius," and it felt pretty good in my belly. Yeah, I thought I heard something. Get them to chant something else. They'll forget it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they were drunk. They'll forget it. I slept on it. I tranced on it. I didn't sleep. <laughs> That'd be silly. Mm, yeah. See, this is why I shouldn't be a god. Yes, I shouldn't be a god. Like you said, we should be in a world where we have no need to fall back and pray for our higher purpose to fix our issues. And we've all had our issues, have we not? Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was the divine spark. Sure, they nudged us now and again, guided us on our path, but I think the true guide was all of us, all along. Plus, it'd be really awkward if I was to propose to Prince Aridan and then become a god and watch him. Wait, that's happening? Are you gonna do that? You doing that? I do that. If I stay as I am now, I wanna go to that. that's the life I would like to lead. That's what gives it purpose. The idea of infinity, the idea of Hadar when he touched us, the temptation 
to go to become nothing, to become eternally nothing. That scares me. Being left with my own thoughts for eternity and for everyone to look to me for guidance. I have nothing to guide people on. I've got things I want to do here, on a rose. And that's where I'll do them. So Lucius will also let go of the divine spark. Ayla, got a decision made there? Mm, Nova. <laughs> Nova. Having seen the Titans, and seen them, as I said, at their best and at their worst. I'm someone who wants to be curious about the world, about the universe, about the beyond. I want to learn, I want to explore. I want the mystery of the unknown. People turn to gods to see answers. I don't have any. I have questions. I still want to help Tiangong find the remaining Eterna. I still want to help the Ganesi on Arois return to Ganes the safe way, the correct way. But these are all things I can achieve through the friendships we've made, through the networks we've made. These are things I can achieve with spaceships and with Tiangong. I don't need a divine spark. Okay. No, Vija has also made her decision. Well, I'm not giving you God on my own. <laughs> For God's sake. I'd worship you, Ayla. Yeah, no, I was going to say, if there no. was a mighty, yeah. powerful God, that's, yeah. Least likely. No, I think that, you know what? I'm fine with helping you guys do the things that you want to do. I don't know what I want to do anymore. I found some wild elves and that's cool and I definitely will spend time with them and start to establish more clans and, and help them discover what their powers are if they have them and that's great but I want to help with the, the Ganassi and I, I'll help with guardians. That's enough, I think. I'd be a really dumb god. We've seen some dumb gods, though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I'd, like... Oh, you say you don't have any answers, Nova? I have even less than that, so... So, Ayla, is that your decision? Yep. When you've all come to this decision, Siaska meets with all of you, and she takes you to where the Halls of Infinite Resplendence once were. She asks you, have you made your decision? I think we have. I think we've come to a conclusion, yes. Um, Tell me. I don't know if it's one you'll necessarily agree with, but Quill, I think we're all set. I am not here to judge. This circumstance you find yourself in, it was not my doing. I want you to be happy. That is all. Well, it's easy because we've all made the same decision. As I expected you would. We're going to stay as we are. She nods. But, you know, if anything does happen, mm. you always have us on standby. Of course. She places her hands. She's much taller and bigger than you, but she kind of leans down and places her hands in the middle. Place your hands in mine. And I shall take the sparks return them to where they need to be. Yeah. Each place your hands. Walk up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll reach in. Each place your hands into Siaskas. Do you need silk gloves on or off? I'll take them. I'll take them. <laughs> and from you, she pulls that same silvery flame that you remember seeing in your battle against Sadar. There is a moment as it leaves you and suddenly you feel as if something is missing, as if somebody has taken a breath from you. But then 
quickly fades. You feel as you always have, as if nothing was taken, nothing was given. Siaska gathers them. She places them within her own chest. I'm going to return them, send them beyond to new universes. They can become new gods. Find those who need them. But also with this decision, I did not wish to influence you. Valor and I are now the last divines in this universe. But if there is not to be a new generation in this universe, I feel, should have none. Valor and I will have to say goodbye. This world, Erois, this universe, it is in your hands as mortals, not to be watched over by gods, but to be watched over by future generations. You have incredible power, technology, knowledge, science, magic. These are your tools, not ours. Our time has come. Hadar is sealed away forever. Without any more divines to feed on, he will never be able to leave. This universe is safe. But remember Hadar's warnings. With gods or without, mortal kind accelerates towards a great destiny. Be careful. There will always be those who hunger and crave more, whether mortal or divine. Such beings are a threat to all you hold dear. Be this realm's guardians. When your time comes, pass that custodianship to a new generation. We will say goodbye before we go. I'm so, so proud of you. For all you have done and all who you are. My champions. And with that, Siaska will take the Divine Sparks. Return. I want you all to imagine, unless there is anything else, this is your point, if there is anything else you wish to do or explain in the moment, in this immediate present. I was not leaving now, right? You will have your opportunity to say goodbye. Yeah, I'm fine. But I want you to all imagine where we might, imagine Erois 20, 50 years from now, and what we might see, who might be there, what has happened. But if there is anything you wish to say or do now, I hand it to you. Mortals. So this is like our final, final goodbyes to everyone. Yeah. This is gonna be the last bit. Your last chance to, before we, before we take a glimpse at what a Rois might look like in 50 or 100 years, I want you all to just, yeah, anything, any last business any of you have. Kim has literally a stack of notes. Oh, this no, this is oh, my okay. notebook from like the battles and okay, everything. Okay, okay, good. Go. I was like, oh dear God. <laughs> no, actually, now this. <laughs> okay. I got notes. Right. Yeah, Charles Delicious. got notes. Let's take us away. I got notes for everyone here. Okay. Oh no, here we go. Oh no. Yep, tissues. So at some a certain point, Lucius will do the thing and go back to Gust Haven and embrace Prince Aradan. And then he'll get a ring commissioned out of um, Ethereum. Ethereum. And then when I propose to Prince Aradan, yes, this comes with a clause, Prince. Okay. 
Princey Prince. This is Ethereum. I want us to shut down the production of Ethereum. Things that draw upon the planet itself. Let's find a new way. I think that, I mean, now that now that the astral world has been open, astral space has been open to us, I think that there are many great ventures and, and ways that we... are mining asteroids. No, but there are people to trade with, business yes. that we cannot begin to imagine. Ethereum was a way for the sky cities to survive when we needed it. But now, there's so much more. Thank you. I would say Is that, that a yes? A, well, <laughs> it's a little sudden, but... Come on, I'm a god. I'm not a god. Yes. There has never been anyone that I have felt as close to as I feel with you. Likewise. Perhaps this will last, perhaps it will not, but I would rather spend time with you now. I would rather say yes to something that my heart believes in. Even if it is one that has not been tested as yet. Oh, well tested. In a good way. Yes. <laughs> Great. With that, he will accept the ring. Uh, so that is... That's Prince Aradan. At a certain point, there's going to be speeches okay. at the wedding. And you will all be, of course, invited as the best... Damn straight. Can make yeah. it. People, guests of honour. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get my fingers cut that day. <laughs> Which is on a, a microphone similar to Shantara's, yeah. using that technology. Yeah, would make sense. Hello, could you hear me? Because oh, I can hear you loud and clear, Lucius. If I may be um, self-indulgent right now, um, this is to the individual champions of Erois, who oh, my have uh, had uh, countless journeys and uh, saved me. Can you still hear me at the hear back? You. Oh, okay. Great. I begin. Maybe I'm not a good judge for that, actually. With Ayla. Ah. <laughs> Stand up, please. No. Right. It took a while. But I slowly saw beneath that fierce shell of yours uh, that there's a big heart that lays underneath. I learned a lot from your determination, your bravery, and I connected to the loss of your past. Sorry, Sorry for bringing that up at the wedding. Sorry. <laughs> you helped me fight through the pain, both the physical and the mental. I always knew that if we had Ayla on our side, we could overcome anything. Next, who's next? <laughs> Sentry. They were horribly <laughs> frozen. Sentry. Hello. Our first mission near Rose Hall. You remember? Yeah. Into the chasm of the ancient ruins of Dwalinden. I had oh. scribes look it up. How scary. It was when I first knew I could connect to the Guardian's Matrix by seeing memories from that feral forge guardian trapped down there. It was then that I formed a unique bond with you in particular. Your selflessness to protect everyone is truly the light that shone for us in the darkest of places. Mm. I am honored to have stood by your side to, side to save Erois Sentinel Prime. To all are one. To all are one, Captain. Lucius, like, awkwardly drops the mic to do a... Or do you just, like, chin yourself with that? Dunk. <laughs> Nova. Oh, God. Bright red. Bright Nova's purple. there. Oh, bright purple. So everyone say hi to Nova. Hi, Nova. <laughs> when we were teleported to the shores of Mirskir, yes, we've been around. <laughs> he waits for applause and laughter, but... Okay. Uh... I've had a tiny bit to drink. <laughs> Thank you, Quill. That's Bertie. Thimble of alcohol has entered his system. A little bit. At this point, Sentry had fallen and Valor was stolen. You had lost all hope. Your books of knowledge thrown into the sand. What was it that I told you? Hmm. Let's write some better ones. You went above and beyond that assignment. To think of what we've achieved together, who we've saved, who you have saved. You have saved me, Nova, multiple times, and I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for you. Thank you. Yeah, you got me. Yep, okay. Did you hear that, Nova? Yeah. No, yeah. Did you get all the last yeah, bit I yeah, said yeah, at the yeah. end there? Yeah. I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for you. Thank you. 
Nova's gonna run up to the stage and just body. Oh! Body, like, yeah, just... <laughs> this is Nova! <laughs> Champion of Rois. Lots of confused looking high elves, but lots of your friends and allies like, woo! Birdie. Oh, oh, that's me! I'll get up, I'll hit the table. <laughs> Ex champion Hi. of Hesper. Asked to be a god, said no. We all said no, by the way. We could have been gods. <laughs> Just lots so confused you know. looking faces. <clears throat> when you first fell, trying to find a way to revive Sentry, I didn't realize how much of a gut-wrenching moment that would be for me, personally. Returning with the Eye of Hesper, you gave us a sign and a light to guide us through that difficult path and the wisdom to overcome so many challenges in our way. I'm honored to call you, Birdie, my best friend. I hope to enjoy your company all the way through to Elder Quill and beyond. That's in like five years. <laughs> like way beyond. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> or, little, almost as much as Prince Aradan, who is my almost husband. Almost as much? Oh, I'm, I'm watching, watching you, wedding. Quill. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all, champions of Royce. Clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies. As the whole room raises a toast. The celebrations go on late into the evening, many days beyond, perhaps, as well. Is there anything anybody else? Otherwise, I can start to wrap this up. I have one little one. Sure. I think after all of this, Nova would gather everyone just for a quiet meal. Like, I don't know where we settle, you know, but maybe, probably not Months. once. Maybe, actually, yeah, the cafe reopens. Nice. My family returns to Vortensar. My cafe reopens. My mum's cafe reopens. It's never going to be mine. I can't cook. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just cafe shut down. It's just us. And my mum's packed off in the kitchen. We've had a beautiful meal and everything. And I think Nova, very awkwardly at the end, will stand up, catch her leg on the table, sit cramp, down leg again. Cramp? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's purple. And then she'll just look in the middle. She's not looking at anyone. She's just going to look in the middle distance. And She's be like, doing a speech. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Okay, everyone stay quiet. Physics is the study of the movement of bodies in space. Oh. And it can unlock the mysteries of the no, universe. Really, right now? But it cannot answer the essential question of what is our purpose here. And after our time together, I tabulated the data. And as a conclusion of this great experiment, I hypothesize that the purpose of life is to love, and love is what you have shown me, every single one of you, through thick and thin. I have always been blessed by family, but now my family is so much bigger. I love you, and thank you. Sit down. Sentry just give Nova a big hug. Love you, Nova! <laughs> we love you, Nova. I thought you were going to give us a lecture on physics, and I honestly almost passed out. So I have the data. If you love want. you. No, I don't want the data. I don't want it. So no. this is love you. Whole journey, just a I've... dissertation. I could submit it as a dissertation. I could get it bound if you it's want. Fine. Oh, you should. That'd be it's amazing. Tabulated means arranged. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Anything else? From anyone else? I've got something. Yeah. Um, Take it away. It's just really quick. The short, shortly after, yeah. I guess we land. Sentry's gonna go to Horizon, mm -hmm. go to a little shop on Horizon mm -hmm. with flowers and little automatons. Oh. Can't look at her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna open the door and just say, I'm home. I'm home. There's a moment, a little ring of the bell, and a little, a young woman, hands muddy with soil oil smudged on her face, who just sees you, weeps, and runs into your arms. The door shuts. That's all we see. <laughs> God, it's you. That was the gut. Just a quick one. Just a quick one. Just a quick one. Every time. <laughs> Damn. I don't know why the petal stuff gets me so bad. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anything from Quill or Ayla? Doesn't have to. 
Like, I've, I've I mean, got in, some in, stuff in to the, wrap up. In the immediate... I mean, this yeah. is not like the passing of time, right? This is... No. This is just any immediate... Per, like, things you want to do before I kind of wrap stuff up. I mean, I want to say goodbye to Valor. Yeah, that, that, don't worry about that. I'll <laughs> like, cover that in a minute. I think that's... that's in the immediate, that's, that's what I want to do. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Ayla's just gonna figure out what everyone's doing next. Yeah. And she's gonna try and just be like, right, so first of all, we're gonna go and find some more guardians, and then you're gonna do your magic thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can touch them. And then Vort and Sar, we're gonna go and do that. Mm -hmm. Quill, do you need anything? Because I can be there. I'm trying to just work out. Can we take the Storm Chaser? Can we rebuild the Storm Chaser? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, okay. I, I asked, um, my husband to um, husband. <laughs> use the budget for our wedding. I, I assume you gave me a bit of money, right? I gave you like my entire chest of. He yeah. has all of it. We're commissioning a new storm chaser. Excellent. Oh. As a wedding gift. So. <laughs> to yourself. To me. What? I need your help or something. Oh, oh no. <laughs> there's a man. There's a man. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a man. There's a, there's you know the man. <laughs> Is it? No. No, no, no. no, different help. But I do need your help smoothing something over. I need to talk to my mum. <laughs> oh, why am I going to be helpful for that? I, I need your, your your strength, because she might throw things. I might just join in, to be fair. I need, you really I need your help with something. <laughs> I need to call my mum. Why don't we go find that, that stupid little wizard man that stole your money, though? That would be fun. He is gone. <laughs> Well, we can I, find him. Where's, where's Yaska? I need that divine power. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you could have used it for. God, no! <laughs> You're good at finding things, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you go to that place where there was a spirit trapped inside this mansion and they thought I was the husband and there was an artifact that was left behind or a book or something. Oh, you got yeah, stuck yeah, in there yeah, and then we climbed yeah. out through the window. I think yeah, it was yeah. definitely an artifact of some kind. Well, I mean, potentially, but I mean, it's been such Swift a long song. time. Swift song. Swift, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose Hall. Rose Hall. Rose Hall. Yeah, yeah Rose Hall Manor. Yeah. Right. Could you? Yeah. I, I, Ayla's just pretty much going to force herself into helping all the others. Into helping everybody yeah. and just following them all around a row, basically. Okay. That's it. She's going to just follow them around because she doesn't have she doesn't have anyone else. Ayla, I'm just trying to open a door. You don't need to be there everywhere. I'll open it! <laughs> <laughs> Months pass. You go about your own personal business, marriages, completing personal errands, quests, seeing family, restoring home. Until one day, a voice, a divine voice, calls to you. It's time. You are called to a small hill that overlooks a lake, the ruined manor beside it. A small town, homely, a village, brightly painted tavern, and a single watchtower that looks over the fields of Suvona. I'm waiting for you on this hill stands two goddesses, one of space and starlight, dressed in white, her dark skin illuminated by the starlight in her hair. Beside her, a younger woman, that same galaxy-like hair flowing about her, a skin dark but lighter, a mixture of her mother and her father's, dressed in purple and black, goddess of time. They wait for you. Words are spoken, a soft touch as Siaska touches each of you, cheek, the shoulder, 
takes your hand. A silent goodbye in her eyes. Thala is not silent. Tears fall, each of them glistening with power. I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> I don't want this to end. <laughs> but I know that it must. All stories must. Our time here is... Our time here is done. When you found me, when you, when you saved me, did not expect, I could not have expected that we would be here where we are today. But thank you. Thank you for rescuing me, for saving me, for encouraging me and supporting me when I needed you. I know that we leave this world and all the others in the best hands. She takes her mother's hand as one more finger joins them. There is a flash of light. It's an armored figure, dark hair, broad, his armor, plain, simple. A sword in his hand. He nods once, no words. He draws the blade, plants it in the hill, and lets go. A symbol that Callus's days as a warrior are done. takes his daughter's hand, Bala takes her mother's, and the three of them look up. In a flash of starlight, vanish. We see moments from each of you. We see time rapidly pass. Nova her friends and allies returning Vortensar to Gnas. We see Gusthaven develop, grow, change. It's Prince Aradan and Crown Prince Lucius grow old together. Petal runs her store, visits from her guardian each one, century seems not to age, though Petal does, until one day, century appears not as Sedmal Prime, as her original guardian form, and a new, a new guardian prime stood behind them. The legacy passed on. A century spends her few remaining years with Petal at her side. Ayla travels across Aroes, meeting with new clans of wild elves. Cities, settlements, towns, villages begin to build as the wild elves form a new home. Alfheim, a city for their kind built El Seraph. And Quill. Quill's years are shorter than everyone's. You all attend his passing, his short life, nowhere near the length of guardians and elves at Ganassi. Quill leaves behind a legacy of his own. The last thing we see 
of this story is a young Arakokra. He wears heirlooms of his family. A cloak, a compass, a satchel. But he looks out on a valley, a valley that was once ravaged by storms, and sees a great city as ships blazing with light come and go up into astral space to a world beyond. Zeroes, hundreds of years in the future, prospers. And that, my friends, is where this story comes to an end. This has been Hyrule Zeroes. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our future adventures in a new world, in a new time, in a new place. Thank you all. Goodbye.